Welcome to Da Odd Boys with me, Sydney from uh, the Drunken Orc, and Clint from Essex Boys. All right. So, <laughs> we're looking at. All right. <laughs> so it's the day after uh, release day for the Beast Snaggers Army box, isn't it? Oh, and yes, indeed. We've both got one. Oops. Yeah. Mine's at the back there. That's mine. See, yeah, see it. Yeah. Mine is closer, his is far away. So. We've both got the boxes, so we thought we'd have a quick look through them, um, see what we think. Just a brief overview of the codex. I think there's been quite a lot of information going about, hasn't there? About yeah, there's been loads of leaks and in. bits in there, yeah. So there's nothing really too surprising. Uh, I was quite surprised how thin it was. I don't mm. know what I expected. Seems about, about, about right. Not it's too probably, different from now. Well, yeah. well, you see... This is my yeah. first codex. Actually, it's not. No, it can't be. No, you're right, it's not, because I've got the Space Marine one as well. <coughs> Edit that bit out. I popped my cherry with a Space Marine, but <laughs> this, <laughs> this is this is me, you know, this is the true love, so that's all right. Um, so what do you think of the box? Lim limit limited edition. Oh, limited edition, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'll be, I couldn't give a monkeys about that. No, me either. Do you know what I mean? No. I might, I might just put stickers either. on it. Just to show how little I care about it. I'll probably not do that as it happens, but... <laughs> no. It is a nice looking book, isn't it? It is. Nice artwork. It does look good. I like all the little glyphs everywhere, the little skull glyphs on the back of the box. It was, I don't know, it looked mm -hmm. nice, didn't it? Well, it's nice. It's got some good lore in it as well, the, uh, the book. Mm-hmm. Nothing that I've read so far has been too groundbreaking. It's all just you know, but you know I like I like reading things. I yeah. kind of know <laughs> it's comforting. But like a little blurb at the beginning. Yeah. Well, without jumping too far ahead into the codex, the box itself. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a it's a quality box. The minis are in there. There's mine. Mm -hmm. Still haven't started putting anything together yet. But. Everything. Did you have any problems? I've heard there's bits missing. I heard he's missing from some. Oh, really? Yeah, I've heard a few people said to open it, no. there was no uh, water snagger. And Ooh. there was no water snagger base. Because he has got a, no, mine's okay. he has no, got a big old base, hasn't today. he? I assume there's still yeah, 25 yeah. mils for the, uh, the bomb squeak. Bomb squeak. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. so the codex, that's really what we're going to go through. Um, mm -hmm. Because otherwise we're just waving plastic sprues at you, and yes, you know, yeah, you've seen it a thousand times. Sprues. So instead, we're going to wave a book at you, which you've probably got. <laughs> so yeah, it starts. So I'll try and get some of these um, <laughs> images below here. Now, obviously, it's naughty. Was that sneeze? It was an. Almost sneezed, but didn't actually. Oh, I wasn't sure if it was a sneeze. Are you going to make a dramatic point? <laughs> oh, <and> you disappeared. <laughs> you didn't want to blast your head off. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I tell you what, I do like about it, and again, we've seen all these through the leaks. The pictures, mm. the pictures of the armies. Um, yeah. All the minis. Yeah, they look good. They yeah. look fantastic, but there's some nice, like I say, there's some nice lore at the start. Some great artwork as well. Yeah, yeah, they really is. It's, it's, that, it's that new style that I don't know if it's a new artist they've got doing the orc stuff. Um, yeah. I think the last one of these, really, the last orc book that I bought was chock mm -hmm. full of uh, artwork from uh, Paul uh, Bonner. All uh, right. The old Here We Go sort of, uh, while the orc stays with, you know, the black and white pencil sketches almost. Yeah. Um, and this is obviously a very, I mean, you know, 30 odd years past. Well, yeah, very dynamic looking all of yeah, this stuff in it a lot, a lot strange yeah. but it's a definite style hmm. but they're pretty cool but yeah lots yeah. of uh, lovely artwork yeah. i was hoping what's the oh, what was the bad moon's boss called nasdreg nasdreg i was hoping yeah i was hoping we we're going to see a few more characters I was yeah hoping we were gonna see, i mean yeah. even if it was just one named character per clan would have been yeah. something and they're not far off that I, they're not far off, are they? I think with the uh, what's the the book, the Octarius Sector, is it the yeah. new campaign mm. book? They might bring something in with hey, that. You hopefully, know, well, you never know, do you? Might be. No, this might this be is good. very true because it seems to yeah. be, especially with like, you know the bikes getting all better and 
you know, a lot of mm. speedy stuff. That uh, yeah, there is evil sons named War Boss, like Speed Freak bosses, which yes. you know would be ideal yeah. for a speed war. And you think they'd stick them in, but they like, say yeah. maybe coming up, maybe coming up. It's, you know, there's lots of lore. I'm not going to read all the lore. To you. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to read through all the lore stuff, but I'd like to go through it all again. Yeah, we'll do it. I'll, I'll leave the book in the toilet, you know what I mean? It'll make yeah, it exactly. Yeah. Uh, sorry, not the toilet, uh, my office. and um... <laughs> The throne room. The throne room, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thinking room. But it, it, has got that, it has got that photo, which I know we'd, we'd talked about before, because, again, it was, uh, it was leaked. And we did look away because we don't want to say anything that we shouldn't do because we're good good odd boys watch out for the yeah inquisitions yeah, out just, so be know. careful um yep. but there was the pic it, i heard there was a picture of the combat patrol now when mm. you the codexes understand it it says combat patrol tells you what it is shows your picture and that's pretty much what's arrived in their in combat the patrol box yeah so then they've got ours and that's mint <laughs> it looks bloody blinding doesn't it it's absolutely that great is, that is going to be a kit and a half isn't it yeah yeah good That's amount of boys great. two i was assuming yeah. two boxes of boys so 20 boys yeah plus an hq with the uh war boss and mega armor yeah and um, three Death death copters and, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's all the new stuff and then just to keep it classic i've stuck the death yeah. dread back in happy days it's a great kit anyway isn't it? you can't, well, you, can't yeah, you, can you know what i think dread. about it yeah. I love the death grid. <laughs> I'm determined to get the double figures. I'm determined to get the double figures. You can't be you can't be far off now, I eh? think um I've got what three four five once I've finished these ones I'm working on, I'll have seven. Damn, that's not yeah. I've got four, I think. Do you know what? Do you know what? Two more. I'll get nine. Nine. Because at least then it's like that's the most I can take. Well, yeah, it's three units of three in it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a take nine, like I don't know how to what. Right. So let's have let's have a look at the detachment abilities. Mhm. Mm so, who's come out on top? Do you think? Well, I personally, I'm a bad moons. I love bad moons. <clears throat> I think there's three standouts for me. It's the bad moons, the goths, and the freebooters. That's yeah. The three that look like they're really on the top. Yeah, I, I, I would. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Yeah. I've always considered mm. myself as a death skull. Yeah. Um, but when I look at, like, you know, me orcs, mm -hmm. there's a lot more yellow than there is blue. <laughs> so I, I generally just I'll go with you know whatever clan I fancy. Yeah. And it's generally death skulls, bad moons, and goths. They're the three. Are, I go with, yeah. Um, and yeah, I've got a lot more blue, uh, sorry, yellow than I have. I mean, yellow. Yeah, I, be, be blue was always be death skulls always be mechanicals. Be blues, yellows when we shooting, and we goths were for, mm -hmm. you know, Crumping. Crumping. close combat. Yeah, that's it. Exactly that. I've got yeah, goths, uh, evil sons, and bad moons are my three mm -hmm. main clans. Now I've got a little bit of blood axes in there. Just some command. The blood axes have, have, have done all right as well. To be fair, I think they're quite. Yeah. Um, where's the? It's on. The, they're quite tricksy. They've got a few little. Um, <laughs> yeah, a few little sneaky extra saves and. Yeah, haven't they got something where they can? Yeah, yeah. So it's a strategy that can just go into a strategic reserve. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just by <laughs> just nipping off the battlefield, do a little wee. Drop, out. drop in, drop out. Yeah. Yeah infiltrating rule where they can just come in anywhere uh during deployment isn't it yeah it's not they don't go into reserves do they or they can you can deploy them anywhere which is that's nice during oh, the it is, it is. anywhere on the battlefield great i do think yeah. you're right though with those three sort of mm -hmm. coming out is is the most obvious um yeah contenders the <clears throat> the goths just exploding sixes now instead of extra i mean to be fair with 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 hitting on sixes, mean three. Sorry, then yeah, yeah. You get or a task. If you have more graph on, or yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you it, it, it was, it, you know, you got. It's not like dagger a dagger where you just hey, I've got an extra dice. Yeah, you oh, you look, might have three. a chance. Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, it's you know, you had a, it was <clears> more it was odds on you were going to get the hit, but still exploding is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, brilliant. Yeah. 
just generates another hit. That's, yeah, yeah and the, the plus one strength on the charge as well. Oh, um, yeah. Built in Scarboy, isn't it? Really? Well, this is it. That's, this is it. I'm yeah. thinking about running yeah. me beast snaggers as, um, as goths. Put them in my goth mm -hmm. unit. Uh, goth detachment. Strength six. Strength six on the charge. Uh, what? <laughs> Exploding sixes. Three, down. three. You don't get any extra attacks for numbers now, do you? I or don't think so. No, lost, not like red. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. So it was you get the extra for twenty plus. Though, you get extra, yeah, you get the extra for the chopper. Um, yeah. But it, you, and I think max now is what's that? Three attacks as opposed to four. Mm -hmm. Although you've got, I dare say, those other things. Um, yeah. Does, does Gazi Strange give you an extra it. attack or something like that when he's nearby and there's maybe a weird? He does boy give power. you something, yeah, and you can re-roll all failed hits with him, can't you as well? With Gazi, it could be, could be. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty sure you can re-roll failed hits, not just re-roll ones. Mm -hmm. It's all failed hits. But uh, yeah, the rare. Uh, I think they'd be pretty tasty, goths. Yeah, yeah. That's, they were they were taste, tasty before in the last codex. Mm -hmm. And I always found them overkill. It's like you you go in with so many attacks. Of yeah. Warp path and blah, blah, blah. The extra for the, the size of the squad. And then Gazzy near them. And the, the amount of attacks they got always was... You, you, you were throwing like 100 dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, was, it was... But now with a minus one, AP on the choppers. Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah they're going to yeah. be... They're going to be very tasty. This is true. Very tasty. This is very yeah. true. Yep. So the other two, I suppose, uh, if you're going if you're going to run in and just try and crack heads, that's your goths. That's who yep. you you know is, is the obvious choice. But if you are going to try shooting, you're going to be a shooty army. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously it's bad moons are free, but that's by the look of it. It does look like it. Yeah, I don't know which one's better. If you're standing back and shooting the bad moons with the extra range, is mm -hmm. nice, isn't it? And well, that's it's, it's again, isn't it? yeah, that's when the dagger guns um, mm. kick in, isn't it? Yeah, when, you, when you're getting that uh, a half range, and they have got the strats to, they've got the exploding sixes as well, is haven't they? The, is it a that's one a CP strat? Showing up. Yeah, that's it. Showing off. Yeah, yeah one CP. Showing. So they can, they can re. I mean, and, and you can be rolling a ridiculous amount, mm -hmm. a ridiculous amount of shots. Mm. Um, I mean, a squad of thirty boys could be chucking out like thirty. Beg your pardon. 90 90 <laughs> 90 shots 90 yeah, you're, hitting boys, yeah. you're hitting on fives or sixes but that's mm -hmm. you know 30 hits plus 15 if you use extra 15 if you're showing off yeah, yeah. 45 hits mm. not got bad. to fail a couple of saves there haven't you you got to fail you can't say you <laughs> don't know, yeah that's it we didn't mention as well the goths there their uh stratagem as well yes so you can make it explode on fives and sixes. Yeah, you see that that's something which two CP. Mm. Like like you mentioned before, the goths charging in in the last lot of rules, it was often overkill. Yeah, I think that might be overkill. We're yeah. looking at looking at boys' units. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're chucking in with maybe something someone like um, Gaz Me or Mega Nobs or Mega Nobs. Or yeah. death dreads, or something mm -hmm. with a much much lower number of attacks than yeah. one hundred and twenty or something. You know, so <laughs> it was like you know, eight or nine attacks, maybe yeah, well six or whatever. Um, but the, the, they're they're a higher attacks, quality right? attack. You're taking them out with yeah. like a power claw or something like that. Then yeah, mm -hmm. I think that could that could really that come into it. And and could you could you couple well, that you... with the the um? Hit them harder. Yeah, that's a one. That's it. Plus one damage. So yeah. Power claws three damage. Exploding fives and sixes. Oof. Hitting on fours. Yeah, sounds good, doesn't it? It certainly yeah. does. Yeah. 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 For a big unit of mega knobs. Yeah, nice. Their relic, the goth relic. Uh, sorry, we brushed our goths before. The iron yeah. gob. Mhm. Mm Don't. I'm a bit lukewarm on that. D three mortal wounds. Yeah, so it's like, uh, you know, there's, I mean, on its own, it's, you, you think, oh, that's all right. Two up, yeah. three mortal wounds. But there's other relics which combine that with a four up invul save. Yeah. And a plus yeah. one to armor, the um, <clears throat> the crushing armor, I think it is. I know yeah. that's only for mega knobs. Whereas the same mm -hmm. gob, you can stick out anyone, but. Yeah. You know, is what it is. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, in the Bad Moons Relic, the Gob Shot Thunderbus. Mm. Auto hitting. That's yeah, yeah, that's that's not bad. Heavy two D six, strength five, minus one. It's two heavy flamers, isn't it, really? And obviously you got an extra six inches on that. It's 12 inches, but it'd be an 18 inch weapon because it's a heavy if it's a bad moon. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it'd be an 18 inch weapon, heavy 2d6, auto hitting, strength 5 minus 1. That's not bad. That's not bad. Plus, it'll be, will it minus 2? It'll be plus 1 to its uh, armor penetration, is that right? Is that bad moon? No, because that, that's if you roll the 6 to hit. Yeah, if you and they're obviously hit. not rolling. Oh, it's all hit. Yeah, yeah. So you um, can't make it any better. But. You see, I, I look at everything as <laughs> how how would it every you know every weapon essentially how yeah. would it stack up against killing marines? Marines. <laughs> Star, <laughs> we all want to kill Starlings. So look at that and go. <laughs> all right, so two d six, seven shots, wounded on three. So let's say two mm -hmm. point uh, two uh, four point six. They're going to save uh, half of them. So two. Here you'll kill one marine with that. Mm. And then I go, oh, that's very good. <laughs> mm. um, custom shooter only. So custom shooter. Can you put that on a mech? they got custom shooter. So then they'll be hitting on fours. Mate. Oh, no, because you don't roll to hit, do Because it's auto-hitting. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. Hmm. It, it's all right. It's all right. If you're going up yeah. against, if you're going up against like God or Tyrannus, any sort <laughs> of horde thing, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Eldar. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Eldar. You know, I'm not the heart to hit bastards uh -huh. and that. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. But the more tanky ones. Dark Eldar. Yeah. Yeah. There might be a better relic for you somewhere else. If it's not fair play. Still, it's good though. Yeah, but Quite I think I, I think the increased range and then. Um, for the bad moons and that extra ap mm. is is decent yeah the increased range yeah. certainly helps you attack attacker mm. so i keep saying attack attacker as well i can't i'm not i'm not going to shake that Attacker up. weapons yeah i'm not going to shake that, I'm not so shake that up. i played i played bad moons nearly completely through eighth nearly always played mm -hmm. bad moons occasionally speed freaks or evil sons yeah goths occasionally oh god yeah still have nightmares about that game <laughs> um <laughs> But that is going to be so weird not re-rolling the ones because it's become so ingrained in me now. Me, the ones. It's, it's going to be yeah. so weird. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be such a like a shock. What, what about uh, not not picking up with sixes to have more gold? No. Yeah, it's going to be weird, isn't it? But yeah, very strange. Yeah, very strange. Yeah, it it, it, it really is. There's, see, these are the, these are some of the changes. I mean, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get into you know. The, well, we'll just talk about it now. There's no structure, is it? No. Jackson with us. Come on. The fact, the fact that, right? <laughs> and you've got the advantage over me here massively because I've, there's a there's a huge window of mm -hmm. of void, should I say, where I'm clueless of what what yeah, went on, other than what I've heard, you know, yeah. from people chatting and what yeah, have yeah. you. Um, and when I first played, it was just that's the rules. There was no mm -hmm. the, the 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 fluff was in the law. There was no really fluffy rules. I mean, some of the some of the yeah. York stuff was, but there wasn't a great deal of it. Um, and so I'm like eighth onwards, really. Yeah. But I would say things like Green Tide, mm -hmm. um, Dagger, 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 more Dagger. Yeah. Um, yeah. The biggest. I know the biggest boss has been quite a new one. Mm -hmm. Psych Awakening, but it it's been a you know. People call it's it staple. Yeah, it's yeah exactly. For all exactly. players, it really is. Yeah. All these, all these things, have just been whisked away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a bit. Oh. It's good. It's just gonna be a shock. I think. I, I think the I think. new book. I think it's all there. All that stuff is there, but it's not like a stratagem. I think the biggest boss is almost built into the individual war bosses now. Yeah. In a certain extent, I think the only one from that respect is the morale that that feels yeah, like the only thing yeah. mob rule mob that rule. feels like the only one that's really really gone here we go yeah here we go i'm re rolling might one. well still be there but yeah re-rolling yeah. both dice yeah as opposed to or being able to roll one whatever dice yeah. you want i need to 
is I mean I used to I used to watch battle yeah. reports with Marines saying, oh, I can re-roll that charge and they've got like a six no one, you need an eight. So I've got to re-roll them both and you're going, Oh, that's horrific. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just re-roll the one. <laughs> we're poor bastards. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. now the poor bastards. And I think we are now, yes. It's just it's it's we're no worse than anybody else. No. But it's yeah. it still feels like a slight step down. Um Yeah, a little bit. Especially when things like Evil Sun's there, they've they've lost the plus to their charge range as well. Charge range. Um Yeah, yeah and, and then like you mentioned there the, the, the mob rule. I mean what's it now? If you if you're in six inches of a mob that's over half strength. You still count as full strength. You still count as full strength minuses, when, when yeah, everybody's yeah fucking running away on yeah. <laughs> on ones not ones and twos ones, not ones and twos yeah which That's you know it. is is decent but the breaking heads as well costs to, uh, um, that's the only thing that's concerning me about the new bit is the morale it's like mm. oh that could be I know it's not as painful as it used to be because it's only on ones that they run yeah generally. yeah and even you know, and even that you know always being counted as it over half strength is yeah is better because you know yeah. if you've got it's a difference of i don't know uh, 24 boys in having four of them run instead of eight of them run you know yeah. a sixth yeah, instead of a third yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it, yeah. you know it's, it's oh, fair quick enough maths. Okay. quick match <laughs> <laughs> big mcdef school c but <laughs> um <laughs> the um it it's it's the fact is what they've done as well. It's got me cut a little bit sort of, oh no, is uh, they've split up the buggies and the the mech guns. Units. Sorry, no, oh, they've, they've done the opposite. They haven't split them up. They've, they've, they've kept them together. So they them around, I, just, yeah. I couldn't get away from the fact that the mech guns with a leadership of four, mm -hmm. which is, you know, terrible. Losing a whole mech gun. Is yeah. That... And then yeah. possibly... I mean, if you've if you've got one shot off the board, mm -hmm. and then you lose another one, automatically because yeah. you've rolled yeah. a four on this leadership test, yeah. is that unit now counted as less than half strength for the last one? Yeah. So mm -hmm. then you've got a, a one in three chance of so you got you lose one, you've got a one in four chance of failing, which means you automatically lose another one, and you got a one in three <laughs> chance of losing the last one. How? <laughs> Yeah, and you've just lost 150 points worth of... Uh, I've just ordered three more as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can only run them in units of three now Units as well, of three, right? yeah, yeah. And the rule of three goes across mm -hmm. the army, doesn't it? Not the detachment. Everything, everything, yeah. Yeah, except for troops, yeah. So you've got a mm -hmm. nine mech gun max. I mm -hmm. think I've got... I think I've got 11... Yeah, some of them are going to be redundant now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not finished yet. I, you know, to be honest, I've only ever run three in a game. I've, yeah, I've never. I've never. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm not four. Four. Four's my maximum. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I'm still doing that. Need bother. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not super worried about it. To be honest, I'll probably. I'll probably go run three. To be fair. Yeah, um, what, a in, unit or three individuals? Three individual. Yeah. But then again, yeah. that's using up three of your heavy slots. But then again, heavy that's slot. just out of one detachment. So it's definitely, does it feel to you that this new codex is definitely, for me, which I like, promoting mixing clans, yeah. detachment? absolutely. It's so much better in that respect. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. 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 I'll be, yeah, I'll, I'll, in, I'll be looking to do that. Yeah. Um, I little think it post combat, a little bit of shooty, a little Gretchen more, but yeah. no, yeah, it feels it feels very cool. But what about the Evil Sun stuff? I haven't really looked at the Evil Sun stuff because they're I play them, I like them, but I haven't I don't play them as much as my other two clans. I haven't really looked yeah. too much into them. How do they look to you? From you what I've seen, um, yeah. like I say, it's a shame they've lost the the plus to the charge. Hmm. Uh, I know they say that they're fast enough. <laughs> to they be are fair, quick, they? <laughs> yeah, they are pretty quick. Um, they are pretty they've quick. they've kept the ability to shoot assault weapons while advancing without penalty, but none of the bikes have got assault weapons. Uh, custom mega exactly. blasters are the only assault weapons I can think. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's probably a few more, but yeah, it's, it's not too many. Um, 
I, I, I reckon that might have been a typo. Do you think? It should be DACA weapons, no? Well, I don't know, because all it is is you don't get the penalty. And yeah. the assault weapons are one of their, their, their special thing, if you like, is that you can't fire them while advancing with yeah. a penalty. Um, yeah. And they, that negates the penalty, whereas that weapons you simply just can't fire when they're advancing yeah. by the look of it. I wonder. I wonder if DACA weapons are going to get an FAQ. To be I think. I think if they did, that would be. Is it too much? Or I, do I think... don't know. Maybe. 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 Yeah. 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 It just feels crazy that the bikes that are known for their speed and that was their big thing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Was they could advance without penalty, so just normal ballistic skill. Yeah. On all the deck guns, but I suppose they've got the extra shots now. Well, so well this is it. The bikes they had what six shots, and now they're going up to ten. Uh, ten, yeah. And then you've got oh, extra little twiddly bits. Yeah, so you get them up to twelve, I think, can't you? Twelve shots. I think it's twelve and two. Yeah, the Half speed, break. the speed war sticks. Well, the speed is a speed war plus one shot per weapon. Per weapon, yeah, I think so. Well, there's 12. Yeah. It's a lot more shots. It's a mm -hmm. lot more shots. But now, I think they're, they're good as well, though, because now, I think they always suffered in assault in melee without the any choppers. minus on their choppers. Yeah. But now they've got the minus on the choppers, That's haven't they? True. So That's they're going to be a little bit better. So, yeah, yeah, I always found them. You get there really quick, and then you attack, and they kill, like, half a Marine, and you're like, oh, crap. Bloody Marines, man. <laughs> Yeah, it'll just be a little bit more powerful, I think. But They've got I me mean, the, the that um, Resmec has red up here in the relic. Yeah. To start the fight phase, if this warlord is within engagement range of any enemy units, those units cannot be selected to fight until all eligible units from your army have done so. That's that's pretty yeah, good. That's, that's that quite is, nice. That, isn't it? Fight, it always beats yeah. out the fight first thing, but that's uh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, that's that's nice. That. That is good, isn't it? Yeah. The drive-by deck is quite good as well. Yes, so you can... So you can move, move shoot, move. move. Yeah. Slip behind some cover or whatever, mm. or line of sight blocking turn, because they can move. Are they 14 inches, the bikes? Yeah. Yeah, for one CP, pop out, blast them with all them DACA guns, nine bikes, and then just... Hives, you can't shoot me back. <laughs> See you again next that's time. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Cow players will be bitter about that. What we got next? Snake bites. Snake bites. Now, do you know what? This is one I haven't looked at at all. Really? Because I've never, I've never really been all that interested in snake bites because oh, the, the 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 old ways. You know, I'll play Age of Sigma for that. That's <laughs> noted. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm gonna get crucified. But no, yeah. it's oh, hipster, I'm always more... hipster orcs. Hipster orcs. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just more. Uh, I just like the techie kind of thing. There, uh, yeah. But saying that, I love the look of the models. And yeah, that's the main draw for me for everything, and they look pretty cool. I love the Squeak Hog boys. I think they look great. Yeah. I'm really yeah. coming around now. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I, I, I think I'm on the same page here. I've never had much to do with snake bites. It's just no. not been, you know, uh, I wasn't that bothered, really like you say. Yeah. I, I, want, I want tanks and I want walkers and I want yeah, mechanical. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. You know, all the big walkers and all the mad behemoths. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Belching smoke yeah. everywhere and that's it, yeah. But it wasn't long ago I started having a, you know, Sivius thoughts about <laughs> about a certain gargantuan squigoth casting ah, long glances ooh, and all ooh. that sort of stuff and yeah. um, and then with Mosrog Mosrog yeah coming out Mosrog, Mosrog? The big white squig yeah yeah the great yeah. white squig dude yeah uh, which is just one of the best orc models I've just ever seen it looks phenomenal it? It looks phenomenal yeah. Um, yeah I'm thinking that the Squeeze in a detachment. <laughs> another detachment. But I, yeah, at least at least the option of another detachment. You know. Yeah. 
but I've, in my head when I've planned out vaguely there's no feet on the ground there's no boots on the ground there's no. feet or there's hooves Who's but there's no boots so boots. the beast snagger yeah. boys I'd rather have them in with the goths I think goths yeah um, yeah but for the mm. the snake bites I'd want squig hog boys and the characters on the squigs and maybe a kill rig uh, kill rig, and shoot yeah. squig off yeah you know just sound. yeah could be fun couldn't it yeah well this is this nice, yeah. nice fluffy sort of um i don't know mm -hmm. what sort of attachment you'd run out i'd have to look at the units properly i'm just basically just just, just uh making up as go along really but the, only th <laughs> <laughs> the problem with putting the beast uh the beast snagger boys in with the goths so mm. how do you get them around can so they can't go, go in traps can, can they i don't not, know i don't know well, yeah, because they take the clan keyword, don't they? Have a look in the, the rulesy bit. Beast Snagger Boys. Uh, faction keywords, Orcs, Clan. There you go. Not so simple as that. Just put them in a truck. <laughs> yeah. So they've got to be in a goth truck if you put give them the goth keyword. Yeah, yeah. Orcs, Clan, Goth, Goth truck. Yeah. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? So they can. Mm. Might, just have, might just have to jump them. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just to yeah. jump. Yeah, the old ways mm -hmm. are the best. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sniggly bite. Yeah, but they've got what's that? They've, they've essentially got the four plus. What have you been on a four plus transhuman? Yeah, uh, nonsense. Except obviously not with heavy weapons. Strength mm -hmm. eight or higher, they don't get it. Uh, is that right with them, or do they get it with everyone? Or is that no, each time an attack is made against a unit with this culture, unless the attack has a strength characteristic of eight or more, an unmodified wound roll of one to three for that attack fails. Uh, irrespective of any abilities that that weapon or model making the attack may have. So, I mean, you've, you've mm. on the face of it, it's not going to affect strength. Well, there's no strength one or two, uh, but you know, yeah. three, four, fives remain the same. Unaffected. Right, same, yeah. Eight's obviously aren't affected, so it's only strength six and sevens, and there's not that many six yeah. and seven strength weapons. Um, Eldar got quite a lot of Eldar, yeah, shuriken weapons, uh, yeah. uh, shuriken cannons, uh, auto cannons, yeah. imperial mm -hmm. guard with power fists. Yeah, bless them. Six. Mm. <laughs> 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 Who's that knocking on the door? <laughs> it's me, <laughs> bastard. Um, but. The fact that there's a lot of uh, strats out there which, as it was Rikari, wound on twos, uh, they'll oh, still be cool. wounded on uh, fours only. Yeah. Blood Angels, plus one to wound. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they've got a power fist, you're yeah. not going to But basically, it's it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. And then they get the... Uh... I think I've been drinking, mate. <laughs> oh, but... No, no, I, I look absolutely fine. Uh, right, mm. look at my hand. Yes, you're there. You're back in the room. See that? How you do it? That's how you do it. You see, the early as a squig off. Yeah. It's quite good. Yeah. I'd roll yeah. a three. <laughs> Might as well have it. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It'd be like, oh, well, that was. Oh, oh well, that was a waste of time. Yeah. Okay. Snake bites, Mystic Chanting, they can, um... Yeah, what is that? It's a normal unit can have a... What do you call it? I'll deny the witch. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. You know, in yeah. a pinch. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, weird boys aren't as likely to explore anymore. Yeah. That's because true. you don't get any pluses to cast in far, that's a boys being around. No, you just get a ability to cast an extra power, don't if you? If there's more than twenty, no. I think. Twenty yeah. boys, yeah, it's quite a lot, isn't it? You cast this yeah, because there's no warphead stratagem anymore, is there? Um I don't believe so, you no. You've, you've got the extra no. sort of you've got the weird boy and the wor boy. And the um, word boy, yeah. It's a bit different. Mm. Yeah. Different set of powers and what have you. Yes. My God, there's so much to relearn and re-remember. <laughs> I've only just learned the last codex. 
What, <laughs> I don't hope in hell. What do you think of Brog's buzz bomb? Brog's buzz bomb. Six inch range. Three D six. Strength five. Oof. Is that the little dude? Is it? I assume this is just the. It's the relic. So it's like the. I haven't read the bomb fair, but you used to have it. It's basically a pot of buzzer squigs or something, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Once per battle. Oh, you don't need line of sight either. I'm not it visible. Hits on twos. Yeah. So three d three d six strength five minus one AP. You know, hits. <laughs> that's a lot, isn't it? It is. But then, after shooting with this weapon, each unit within six inches of the target suffers one mortal wound. Damn. Including yourself? I presume so, yeah. Yeah. Fucking You're stupid, isn't yourself it? <laughs> <laughs> Kamikaze, innit? Yeah. yeah. No modifiers. It's always on a 2+, plus, irrespective of any modifiers. I suppose, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's quite good. Somebody's going, Seems hey, I'm, I'm, I'm behind a wall and... And I'm flying. And you go over there just like, fuck off big mosquitoes. I don't really care. <laughs> but it says that though, in a, irrespective of uh, after shooting with this weapon, each unit. So even if you don't, it just says after shooting, if, not after hits or damage. Yeah. So even if you don't hit, even if you roll a one and you don't hit with it or you don't wound with it, you still get the mortal wounds go off. Yeah. So it's always doing some damage, isn't it? This is it. Mm. Right, we'll just have a moment of silence, please, for the Death Skulls. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've had a bit of a nerf in, haven't they? Do you think? Yeah. We've yeah, got one hit, one wound, but one, not the damage roll. Well, one hit or one wound. So it's one re-roll. Ah... On the hit or the wound, or one wound, uh, not both, not both. Ah, uh. right. So yeah, death skulls. As we're saying there, might notice a jump in the cut. It's clearer. <laughs> well, you were cry crying for a little while. I thought I was crying. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that bit, I can't man. Do it. I can't do it. Don't tell him that bit. Yeah. Um. Mm. I mean, let's be honest, right? When you've got a unit of boys. Yeah. You're rolling a hit and a wound. Yes. Who cares? Yeah. Rubbish. Well, on the rocket boy, if you had a rocket boy. Yeah, well, yeah it could be yeah. quite handy. Yeah, I suppose. I yeah, suppose. Yeah. Yeah. But for the most part, it was it was yeah. where it, where the death skulls came in. The run was was specialists, yeah. elite buggies. Yeah, yeah. Um, death dreads. Death dreads. Yeah, yeah. Your war boss even. Um, Super attack guns. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the big bits, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. The buggies have been split. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> the buggies have been one unit. Amalgamated. Yeah. So instead of having unit. three, we roll them a hit each, a wound each, and D6 damage each. You can't. You've now got it. three, we roll them a hit. One. Or a wound. If you have to re roll yeah. your, one of your three up hits, you're not getting your wound re roll if you need it. That's a huge change, isn't it? It's that a, mass, a massive change, nerf for them. Yeah. No, that is, yeah. To yeah. be fair, though, if you have played it as Death Skulls or against Death Skulls or watch the Death Skull Battle Report, um, there's a drinking game you can do where if you take a drink every time you hear Death Skull Reroll, and Death Skull re -roll. you'll be Death Skull re -roll. friggin' paralytic by the end of turn one. <laughs> Death Skull Reroll, Death Skull Reroll, Death Skull Reroll. So, yeah, I, I, I get it. There were a bit. Too lucky, weren't they? There's a bit of lucky, but yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the six up funeral pain, I beg your pardon, invul, which was yeah, really good. I've lost that. Mm -hmm. I say it was really good. It was nice to have, but it came every now and then. It occasionally, and occasionally you, it pulled but, your yeah. spuds at the fire, but not not all the time. Um, they've lost it and got that five up um, funeral pain for mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I think again, very situational. Only against mortal wounds. That's a, yeah, it's a strange one. That yeah, they're not yeah. giving you the five up. Yeah, it's situational yeah. defence. It could help out with lots of if you got lots of custom mega blasters and what have you, because True. especially yeah, yeah. A, dread, a dread with four of those is yeah run the risk of taking four more wounds. 
just yeah, because it's on each weapon. Because it? on each weapon, yeah, yeah. 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 Got yeah. Mega tank, it's possible they've got Mega Tank to take itself out in one turn of shooting just about, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, that'd be so funny. Yeah, it would be quite good, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that. Right, I'm going to kill it. Oh, he's dead. I rolled a lot of ones, yeah. It really hasn't been my idea. Lucky Saga has no one on anymore. <laughs> just horrible kids. He's so went from being lucky and re rolled ones to just stinking. <laughs> Look the window. But uh, yeah, the lost start. They kept Obsec though. And I yes. think that, yep. that's a good thing, to be fair. That I think is, that was the biggest of all of yeah, it, really, to I be think honest. So. That was I the, think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so really, and I know if it, I've spoken to, to Death Skull players and said, you know, what's the most important thing? What do you want to keep? Yeah, and it's obsec. It's obsec. I don't yeah. think anybody's that bothered by the the, game, the, the game wise. and even yeah. the rerolls. They were great with those buggies. Yeah, but you take you take like the rules for the buggies away. Mm -hmm. Not not as good, and yeah, they're, they're all right. No. You know, having the reroll and that for a uh, for for say oh, the for, for the Death Dread with four with a couple of custom mega blasters. Yes, the reroll's great, but quite frankly, yeah. each one firing D three shots instead of one shot mm -hmm. isn't that better? I mean, you get two shots with it. You're essentially getting the reroll, except you got the chance of hitting with both. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Plus a chance yeah, yeah. of a third shot, and I think that altogether is is much better. Yeah. So, I I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think they're still going to be played. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I don't think. Yeah, they've been they've been brought into line with the rest of the clans. I think they were in the last edition. They were the standout. The yeah, last yeah, they were the meta clans. They were the yeah. standout because everyone suddenly became a Death Skulls player. Who was a competitive player, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, know, would, they, I would like yeah. I would have liked to have seen the other clans just get lifted up, boosted a bit. Yeah, yeah. as opposed to just yeah. what's happened, which seems to have just changed around a bit. Snake bites. Line. Snake bites have went. Yeah. They've they, they yeah. flew up. Um, yeah. I mean the, the the warlord trace for death skulls. Um, mm -hmm. Look out! You, not look out, sir. Basically, so you can target characters within twelve inches mm -hmm. without the look out, sir, kicking yep. in. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, the, custom mm -hmm. shooter. It's, well, maybe hit him with a mm -hmm. rocket if you look. If, if it was, uh, if he had a decent, if had a decent weapon expensive. with decent ballistic skill, fair enough. Well, you should give you a, a mech boy. Your warlord trait and make him your warlord with right. a custom mega blaster. Yeah. No. I suppose you, you can re roll one to hit, one to wound. Yeah. yeah. He's hitting on fours with a new weapon skill. I suppose. No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I've yeah. got a better weapon. Yeah. All right, and yeah, yeah. I'll take that back uh, with, a, with a mech. That could be quite mm. useful. Yeah. And they're getting and it the, fits uh, in quite nice with the Death Skulls and mech boy, doesn't it? It does, to be fair. Yeah. 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 And they've got the six inch um you get one CP if you destroy a vehicle unit. Hmm. Alright, sorry, they yeah. don't have to destroy it. Somebody has to destroy it. Enemy vehicle As unit long as it's destroyed. destroyed you get yep. a CP. Alright. Within six inch of the warlord, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now what's their records? Oh that's the um yeah. Yeah. Two C P to help take out um vehicles basically mm -hmm. and they've got the fixer over so you add one to the wounds regained yeah yeah the fixer. oh yeah i'd like that is that is that an additional thing one additional wound and you can select one enemy vehicle unit within 12 inch of the bear and that enemy vehicle suffers d3 more wounds well oh yeah is that so it's just a yeah and you can select yeah so you it's can be fix, fixing one of yours whilst stripping another yeah. one Basically, yeah, I, I imagine it's you, you're taking bits off that one to patch up your own one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It does seem like a lot of mortal wound output in this book. Yeah, well, to be fair, I mean, how we, we, we used to we used to see yeah. other like, other codexes from ninth who were just mortal yeah. wounds, mortal wounds, mortal wounds, and, and it was always like, I mean, you we are boy can chuck the odd smite. <laughs> no, was it the ramming speed? And that was yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was about it when it? there wasn't much yeah. more than that, really, unless you were mm. doing them to yourself by rolling ones. But <laughs> yeah, it does seem to be a lot more. Mm. Yeah, you know, blood axes. Yeah, I think they they have sort of come up a bit. They've still got the same um, culture taken or counted as being in cover. 
Yeah. If they're over, is it over uh, 18 inches away? Yeah, 18 inches. <sighs> yeah, the, the only problem I can see with that is, you know, for, more, for any urine to boys, if they're over 18 mm -hmm. inches away, they're not doing much good. They're, they're, they're just... No, no range or anything. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're sort of, you're, you're yeah. bedding down, you're holding positions and that's it. You're not, mm -hmm. you can't even get a shot on them with their yeah. slugger or shooter. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'll, 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 you know. I mean, it. let's face it. Right? If that was, if that was twelve inches, not eighteen. Yeah. Is that is that the end of the world? All of a sudden, another OP because they're getting the five plus save instead of six. It's not. It's not huge, is it? No. Not I mean, really. if you're talking three yeah. to two, maybe, but no. Mhm. Mm so the what's this say? Uh, the warlord trait. I've not read this. At the end of the deploy like forces it. step, select up the three blood axe units from your army and redeploy them. Uh, mm. Was that not the the same as the old? With the old, the old stratagem, wasn't it? Cunning but brutal. The warlord oh, trait. Cunning, wasn't it? Yeah, cunning but brutal. Yeah. Brutal but cunning was the reroll. Reroll hits. hits. With the, yeah, yeah. And you might have got an extra attack or something. Like that, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I've, I'm starting to forget the old ones now already. Yeah, um, already. <laughs> <laughs> but the, but the other one, the cunning but brutal, it was you can redeploy up to D three mm -hmm. uh, units after you, after set up. So they've just got the, yeah. the three. I mean that that is a good That's one a to be one. fair. It's a good water trait, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is it's a useful one. Um, yeah. So I use it's in quite nicely with the blood axes as well. Yeah, it? yeah. It's all the sneaky sort of redeploying this and yeah, redeploying yeah. that, and taking yeah. things off and putting them back on. Make your enemies sort of like you know make the opposition punch at smoke for a lot of time you know it's just always swinging never never quite hitting. That's one that just quickly overlooked the the culture, the full back and shoot more oh, charge yeah, is yeah. quite nice. That's that's good. That that's that's always powerful. That. So is that it's full back in charge or full back and shoot? Yeah. So if you full back and you charge, so you can negate the missing out on the attacks because if you're locked in combat yeah your opponent always goes first unless you that's can true. fall back and that's then true. recharge so you can always fight first so, you so it's your turn yeah you're out. you're getting the your yeah, attacks in before this yeah, actually, yeah yeah that's that's yeah, yeah. No, that's a good point yes that is really good. good yeah very good for for all there. i'm gonna say the falling back and shooting not so well I mean, if you're just trying to get out of combat <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can still shoot. Yeah, fall back, exactly. shoot. Yeah, I mean, do you know what I mean? Fall yeah. back, let everybody else shoot, <laughs> and then yeah, well, and then get. I don't know in. if you've got the looters or something in it. They can fall back and then just and fight and then open up. Yeah, the yeah. if somebody's trying to close them down to tie them up or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait. No, that's like you say. That's not bad. Oh, I think I think they've done quite well at this. To be fair, the blood axes. Yeah, no, it doesn't look too bad. And I, does it? I, I started. I started watching. The battle report, which I haven't, I haven't uh, finished yet, because it's one of the tabletop yeah. titans one, so it's on for like nine hours or something. But um, <laughs> they, they, he was running uh, blood axes. I think he was might have been running yeah. two actually, but he had a uh, Morgog's thinking cap, and every right. turn he was he was getting that he was hitting that four plus, and right. he was getting these command points plus his command points, so he was going up by two command points each turn and. And especially with the fact that now with things like the custom jobs, you're not paying CP to get them. It just costs you yeah. a few extra points. We yeah. seem to have a lot more command points knocking about, which gives you the ability, like you said, to yeah. to get the extra detachments to pay for them. Because you were easy Spending, spending yeah. three command points on, on custom jobs. Biggest boss and custom and, yeah, jobs. And, I'll have, I'll yeah. have a warp head. So there's yeah. one of the biggest yeah, yeah. boss. Yeah, a couple of custom. Yeah, you were spending like five, six Quite anyway. Often. Yeah, six six per game. I was spending before we even started. Normally, well, this is it. When, when we had the orc tournament, with mm -hmm. all the um, you know everyone playing orcs against each other on yeah, yeah, the orc exactly. community Discord. Yeah. Um, yeah, every game I was in, six or seven command points were starting with from from twelve yeah. because of that yeah. many things you'd you'd bought and all you know. You so yeah, three game, yeah, yeah, and detachments and all that, yeah. Yeah. So now it's no, just good. on detachment. So yeah, you could you could still mm -hmm. afford to get there. And there's ways, like I say, to keep bumping that up as well throughout it. So yeah, yeah. No, I think that's uh, that's decent. Although again, yeah, that actually one to look at. I think 
I've always I've always liked the blood axes. Like I said, I've got a little contingent of them, mm -hmm. commandos and stuff. And I think yeah, could be could be fun. Have a little yeah. little thing at commandos dropping in, and yeah, no, it could be good. Could be good. And the free Buddhas. As you mentioned, well, they're just taking a boost, aren't they? Fucking race they have, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, bloody hell, yeah. Yes, See, just I, get, I get most of my experience, um, in game mm -hmm. experience, from watching battle reports, as I, as I, yeah. <laughs> as I think I've mentioned once or twice. <laughs> and uh, I did happen to watch, I think it was uh, somebody posted a link of it mm -hmm. in the Discord, and it was just it was Orcs against Orcs, uh, yeah. with, with the new Codex. Yeah, and it was just like it just t running a few things and testing a few things out, just and it was it. it was freebooters, although yeah. because they are I think I think they might have been Canadian, or well, could have right. been American. They keep saying freebooters, freebooters, and I just think like some little fat sort of you know wise man getting free, chained free up, Buddhas. like <laughs> free, <laughs> free the Weatherfield one, <laughs> like, you know. You... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but anyway. Um, and he ran a couple of mech guns mm -hmm. and a couple of dagger jets yeah, and a couple of units of bikes, eight and nine a piece, yeah. lots, lots, of, lots of firepower and a wild yeah. bomb blaster jet as well and the, right. he used the, the mech guns smasher guns, which obviously mm -hmm. don't get the freebooter um, culture, than being gross yeah. but they are still okay. freebooters but they can trigger it, can't Yeah, they? so you use those to yeah. take something out, and once they took something out, everything else was hitting on on fours. Fours. Yeah. Unless they were hitting on threes, <laughs> in the case of, like, yeah. the last bomb and oh, stuff. Last bomb, yeah. And that's yeah. got some serious weaponry on it, isn't it? Oh, it does, bomb. yeah, it really does. Yeah. But it was something just to, to watch and go, you know, picking up like ninety odd dice, and going hitting on <laughs> four, hitting on fours, and you're going oh, fours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was like oh, shit. This is this is impressive stuff. This, yeah. So uh, they, they did they did do well. I mean, to be fair, the old lad ran goffs, and when they got into combat, the goffs started, you know, mixing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. a lot of their stuff was flying, so. <laughs> <laughs> not what you can do it. Yeah, not, not what you not, can not do, you can do it. about that, is it? <laughs> yeah. Death, Death Dread's got four claws. Yeah. <laughs> Breaks uh, one off and throws it at it. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, to, uh, to be honest with you, apart from that with the freebooters, I don't know what else they've got. You can give Obsec. Right. See, that's very, very useful. You that's can switch great, Obsec on it? for one CP. That's, yeah. uh, that is really good. Boom. You're now objective secured. Yeah, yeah. that's great, isn't it? And with the uh, the relic, the Bard Skull Banner, you're basically switching off. Mm -hmm. Obsec. That's very good, isn't it? Damn. That really is. Yeah, got, yeah, quite a few nice, tasty little stratagems and very synergetic. I don't know. Is that a word? <laughs> well, I know Lots you mean. synergy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that. with the free boots, it's all like this affects this affects this is it always seems like a lot of synergy with these guys yeah. you know you've got to go through a few phases to get it all to go off and then it yeah yeah it can be really powerful yeah and especially with so, the plus the plus one stacking as well so mm. although obviously you only get plus one or negative one for that matter maximum but it's nice yeah. to have plus four <laughs> just in case they've got minus Three. Yeah, <laughs> minus I mean? three AP or yeah, 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 yeah. or it's minus some sort of or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I see Drakari and a fly are doing barrel rolls with smoke coming out or something. <laughs> Your flash is going, don't care, you know, it, it's shooting them down. Still gonna get you, quite, quite yeah, accurately. And of course, the the the, the flash gets get on fours anyway, isn't they it? fours anyway, yeah, so they're going to be threes, yeah, yeah, and then bad rut there, giving them re roll ones as well. Can they miss? I don't think they can. It probably says that in the rules. Don't bother to hit roll a hit. They're not yeah, gonna miss. They, they can't miss. And yeah, the guns, yeah. Strength six, minus two AP, uh, range twenty four, heavy three, damage two. I read it out in a completely weird order there. But um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they are the, the marine killers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Nice. I like that. That sounds good. So awesome. Bad Ruck, I'm just looking at his stats quickly. He's like, he's he's got four up in bun. Like, what? Got three up save, as is, with a four up in vulnerable. He's, he's tasty. Okay, where is he? This is skill four, weapon skill two. Tasty, isn't it? It is, yeah. Mm hmm. He's got four up in vulnerable. Better than the uh, Mega Armored War Boss. Has he? Has he only got yeah. a five four? He got five up in bun, yeah. Ah, uh, so he has. Six wounds as well for bad luck. Plus character protection. He's looking really tasty. He's got the war boss keyword as well, so he can call a war. I'm glad I've got a bad ruck. <laughs> Always liked him anyway. I do like the model. I don't have him. Yeah. No. Um. I don't know if I'd get him, or or maybe get something else to use as a um. Like maybe just bash great... up a piratey. Yeah. He's a great model because I don't know. He's got that slightly old aesthetic with a massive head. Like a huge jaw, yeah. and, and he's got them nice long bony fingers. I don't know. He looks, he looks cool. He's a cool looking model. But yeah, I think all together, the free butters are looking pretty. Uh... Very tasty, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they really are. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone, there was a lot of whinging in the orc community when they were about free booters before. They didn't have anything really. Yeah, I mean, I, I that that twenty four inch range on the plus. On the plus one, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, it didn't really do no. anything for us. I didn't think. Yeah, that, yeah. I was like, oh, is really, that it? But I mean, to be it. fair, twenty-four inches. You know, I mean, you're talking forty-eight, really. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's not bad, <laughs> you know, especially no. the table no, no, size. It's, it's, but it just didn't. Now it's it, table it, wide. Boom. I was like, eh, don't care. But yeah. now, yeah, they're looking quite good. I think with the three butters, it's almost like you could, you know, if you have painted whatever you've got in any particular way of free butters you can always just go <laughs> free butters chuck them in yeah yeah it doesn't matter yeah. But, but again if you're running yeah. different detachments of different clans it's try, it might it's, make it yeah yeah your opponent but then again i suppose that's down if you're running tournament games or just having a pickup game with a mate yeah, most that's people right. yeah that's fair right. enough yeah as long as you agree to wear a post-it note stuck on your head with like the, <laughs> with the key you know <laughs> Power gamer. Guffs yeah. is red. Hundreds <laughs> is blue. <laughs> free free boot as his wine corks. <laughs> you know, that sort of shit. Then, you know. Wheezing every available ability out of this codex. Yes, yeah, on yeah. Your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an orc power gamer, the rarest of breeds. <laughs> uh, right. The the special, is any of the specialist mobs of left out at you? Other than truck gits and their inability to get into a truck. I the, the truck, truck boys, boys yeah, truck that, boys, that, truck that, I, it's unnecessarily really like harsh the truck to them, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that was the only one really. Um, it's it's a sh I don't know. It feels a little bit like a Mister Trick. Am I reading it right that you can only put it on one single unit in a detachment? Is that right? That's how I understand it. But that would also mean you couldn't run anything but them truck boys in that truck. So if it has truck boys keyword mm -hmm. on your truck, I'm saying truck far too many times, truck, truck, truck. <laughs> but you couldn't put then a mega armored war boss in that truck because he'd have a different yeah. keyword. He couldn't get in that truck, could he? No. Which is like, ah. Oh, so you've, you've locked, that, you've locked that truck yeah. to truck to just boys. Them boys. Yeah. yeah. You could put a war boss in that truck, but he'd have to go on his own. Nothing else with him. So then if you roll a one when it inevitably dies, he's yeah. dead. You lose your war boss. It's like, yeah. oh man. Well this is this is the uh the thing that's got me slightly concerned about putting Gazzy in a battle wagon. <laughs> um now I know you'd stick him in you wouldn't you'd try your best not to put him in on his own. But if you stuck him in with Macari, who seems an obvious choice, um yeah. a pain and, boy. Uh, yeah, but you've, you've only, I haven't looked at new points yet. You're only gonna get three in maximum. Because yeah. Gaz takes up eighteen of the twenty available 20, slots. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever rolled three dice and got three ones? Oh, many times. Many yes. times. Yeah, it's it, many it happens. Times. It happens. 
It's scary, isn't it? It's scary. So yeah. it's it's like oh, you know, <laughs> hey. it's, <laughs> squeaky bum time. That'd be yeah, it? yeah. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with <laughs> three hundred points sitting in there. Yeah, oh. just, just to lose. Uh, it's a bit much. Oh, that'd be horrific, wouldn't it? We still, we still think. I mean, you know, we're talking about a battle wagon, like you know, oh, well, it'll just land and they'll blow it up. That doesn't happen that often. I mean, the, not. The, that it's often, one of the you know the heaviest hitting yeah. things we've got, really. And and, and to be fair, five up in by minute. Yeah, right yeah, you do all that sort yeah. of shit with it. That's it's got to be open top door, hasn't it? It's in it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss that looted stratagem as well. I don't think we've got that anymore, have we? Looted no. strat. No, when yeah, you get out in like your plus on your armor. Yeah, yeah, no, that was good. That was good. That was yeah, good. Good one, that. Yeah, I'm just having a quick look through the specialist mobs, pyromaniacs, boom boys. See, boom boys plus one or, or minus one. Uh, armor improvement anyway have won. The armor penetration. That's it. They used to get a bit more clout as well, didn't they? Yeah, it used to be uh, plus one to strength, wouldn't it as well? Yeah. I mean, when you talk strength, strength eight, minus. do you need the strength nine? No. Mm, just. Yeah, T five no, or not, it should, ten. Yeah, it makes a difference because you're doubling out toughness five, aren't you? But yeah, but strength nine does nothing, does it? No, not, nothing extra. No, does I'm it? seeing T five makes any odds because if you're on four, no. toughness four, you're already getting twos. Toughness yeah, five, exactly. you're on threes, and you're only going to get threes anyway. Exactly, so, it makes yeah. no difference, does it? So yeah, no, so I don't think that's 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 still not bad. Um, mm. And again, I mean the fact the rockets are D three as well. It's you know you've got 12 tank busters in a uh, in a truck because you put your 12 in now because you don't need to put 10 in with two bomb squigs because the squigs don't take up any, take up any transport space capacity yeah 12 yeah. d3 shots average of 24 i mean yeah Wait, man. uh what's a fly boys right so extra cover bonus uh mm -hmm. Big crump as plus one melee attack. So that no, sorry, plus one to attack hit roll. Might, might, might be quite good on a death dread combat. Death dread just sticking a load of air. Uh, well, you know, thinking hitting on twos. Yeah, yeah. or mega knobs to get rid of that hard to hit thing with the power claws. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, have you? Exactly. Keep them on power threes. And, yeah, yeah, no, that's a good them. idea. So each detachment has got one mob. Or one unit or yeah. model or what have you that you can upgrade to a to a specialist mob specialist mob yeah so you could put big crumpers on your mega knobs mm -hmm. uh, but then you couldn't have any truck boys in that that detachment because you've got big crumpers no i think you could oh i don't know uh if your army is battle forged and includes any orcs attachments excluding auxiliary uh, support super heavy auxiliary or force yeah, fair enough then what? Uh, when you muster your army, you can upgrade one orcs unit from each detachment in your army to be a specialized mob. One, yeah. Yeah, each type of special. Blah 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 So yeah, you so have one. You'd have to you'd have to weigh that out because if you're goth mega knobs, do you want exploding sixes or do you want to be hitting on threes? It's like hmm. It's that. Like, oh, I don't know. I have to get a calculator and find oh. out. Oh, I don't know. You'd lose, you'd lose the plus one strength on the charge, but yeah, that's right. the difference of essentially strength 10 or 11. Which is no difference at all, no. is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think if, if, you, if you're running goths and you've got yeah. a unit of tank busters, make them boom mm. boys. Yeah. Because you're not going to be... They're not, they're not in people. combat, are they? No, yeah, you're exactly. back shooting. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know, if you if you run goths, you've got a dagger jet or something. Uh, <laughs> maybe he's making a fly boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, uh, yeah. If you want to keep it all in one detachment, then the things that wouldn't really benefit from the uh -huh. no, something the which is outside of what work. it normally is. Yeah. If you've yeah. got a unit of mega, mega knobs with like power claws and kill saws and all that sort of stuff, and you run as bad moons, there's no point keeping the extra six inch to range. <laughs> When no, you've got no shoots, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean. Exactly. No, so no, that's no. when you're going to make the big crumb. crumpers. Yes, yeah. big crumpers. And they're not or losing anything. Even your slugger like chopper boys, you might say, "I'll tell you what, I'll make them truck boys and give them a chance to zoom up and jump off and charge yeah. in." And 
you know. Chum. Yeah. So yeah, the, the specialist mobs are well. It's funny this. The specialist mobs are basically for the the units in the detachment, which are more specialised and not the same as everybody mm -hmm. else. Strange, given the title. Yeah, that, so we had. We should have just read that yeah. first and just come to that yeah. conclusion about twenty five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. As we we do everything in reverse. But in the order of this, mate. This is this is this. Is, <laughs> This fucking this is just like a ball of wool just going, eh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> We've structured this so well, I thought. Yeah. It was it was a knock and bet to be fair, it was a knock and bet. Uh, yeah. Well, what about on. horrible gifts for your Gretchen. <sighs> well look, if you've got grots. Yeah. Um Objective secured. You might as well, because they're getting out else other. Unless it's uh, yes, I Unless it's a, um, is it just for the core units? Gretchen, Gretchen core, aren't yeah. core units. No, are they? What? Aren't they troops? Do they not have objective security anyway? No, no. Sorry, I'm thinking of the core, course of core. They don't have a, a yeah. offset anymore. They don't. Oh, don't see that past me, boy. Boy, bye. Oh wow. So it's just your standard cross you put it on. But then again. If if there's grots, I mean, the obsec only comes in when you're fighting over an objective with somebody, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and if you're on an objective, and the enemy has literally any troop on the objective, then you're not going to be on the objective for long. No, exactly. With grots, toughness free, one wound, seven plus save. Seven plus save, yeah. I don't even understand why they do that. What's um, he save seven plus? Oh well, I'll just. <laughs> do uh, get... But if you have got unit grots, yeah, give them horrible git. If you're giving nobody else a specialist yeah, mob, anything, yeah, might as well. I mean, minus one to hit is you know. Hmm. I suppose super grots. Of course, they have to be three inches grots. away from you when they're getting minus one to hit. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, dear. Yeah, strange. That's a strange one, that. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. So, I'll tell you what, we'll go on to the custom jobs. Yep. Have a, a quick scan, uh, scan through these. Um, Dabuma. As it was really, isn't it? 2d6 shots instead of d6. Uh, yeah. Force on wheels we've already touched on. Gives an, just give it a 5 up interval. Simple, yeah. spot it used on. to give you a 3 plus save as well, didn't it? Well, well, the, the, the wagon's got the 3 plus now as standard. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh. yeah, it went up. Um, oh, okay, cool. The truck's still 4, but of course you didn't used to be able to put it on the truck. So No. But uh, yeah, the fortress seems... Uh, sorry, so fortress on wheels. Up. Standard and a five at Inver. That's that's yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's worth in in like twenty <laughs> points. Twenty points for for a battle wagon. Um, yeah, I think that's bad, decent. Jairus Scott... Boomer, quickly touch on that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing that's changed now is the periscope rule. You can't uh, on the gun wagon. On the gun wagon, plus plus one to hit now. Yeah, so hitting on four. So can't shoot twice, but yeah, yeah. hitting on four's got to be better in it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, you know, that's all right. I, I understand people say no. Hmm. Maybe we're more, you know, heart than that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I can, you know, I can see the, the benefit there. Um, the yeah. gyroscopic whirly gig. It's just yep. another. It's another kick in the the spuds of the shock jump dragster to me. Mm. Um, it used to be one jump. mortal wound. Now it's D three. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously you get to just ignore them with that. But yeah. with the gyroscopic whirly gig, you could automatically teleport. Jump. Yeah, jump. Yeah. Whereas now you yeah. it doesn't mention that at all. Still, that, so I take it you still, still need to rule the four plus. plus to to do it on your advance. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a bit of a shame, really. I mean, to be fair, mm. it's, it's a it's a fast buggy. Yeah. Um, you know the fastest. If not, if not the fastest, is one of the fastest. Is it 14, 14, is it 14, 14 inches? inches, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. very quick. 
Yeah. Um, and to be fair, if you ran three of them, as I said before, with the gyroscope wordy gig on and all three got it, was it, a, and, it was a bit much. And you it had it, bit, especially with Death School, it was a bit much, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit much. The only thing which sort of like brought it back level was the fact that when you played other orcs, every fucker had three of them doing that. So, <laughs> you, you know, it's like, let's have a 2,000 point battle. But really, it's 2,500. <laughs> you know, you're fine. It's just if you go up against some poor bugger with Gene Steeler cults or something, you know, they're going to be worth, a bit miffed. It's worth running one. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest, you can run two. And for 10 points each, if you take a mech shot, you can have two gy gyroscopic whirly gigs on them. Yeah. And they're just not getting that. And if you do get the shot jump off with the four, no, shot that tunnel is... off with the four plus advance, then do they not auto have they not got big red button then? Like some of the other speed freak stuff that they auto advance six. Yeah. Because that'd be a bit of a, a bit of a hole, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think with, with the, you, you can't advance normally. Yeah. So you roll your advance and if you roll the four, five or six, it says you can take it off the battlefield and reposition it, blah, blah, blah. So I take yeah. it you don't have to. So if you're happy with uh, a 18, 19, or 20 inch move, yeah. do it without the mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be you'll be sorted. And uh, and the rifle is one of the things which is still counted as assault. So yeah. you can still fire that. And you'll still be hitting on fours as well, so it's not, you know, horrifically yeah. accurate. No, no. You'd be knackered where your rocket launch yeah. doesn't that. Unless you put it in a speed freaks, because then if you call a war, is that right? Advances and no penalty? Yeah, it don't have a penalty as far as hit rolls for firing assault weapons. So still be hitting on freeze on the turn you call a war, or speed war, sorry. Shock jump, still pretty good as an evil sons. You run it as evil sons. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. No, not bad. Right, yeah. so he has a more dagger. Ah, now this is what I was thinking of. Is the uh, yeah. before I mentioned it. Now it wouldn't work on its vehicle models only, so it wouldn't work mm -hmm. on the bikes. Um, but with the dagger jet, yeah, um, it could be quite good on that. Each time the model shoots, roll one d six and a four plus. It makes one additional attack with each dagger weapon. And on a six, it makes two. <laughs> uh, and if you are bad, moon, when I spend a CP and show off, it makes dagger jets pretty brutal. It does, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Rocket trap squeak buggy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's on its way. It's on its way. <laughs> it fell over on my foot. <laughs> What's it? Oh, night roll squigs. Yeah. I mean that's that's yeah. an absolute given that on the twenty yeah. oh, twenty five points that's kind of expensive, isn't it? It's quite a lot, isn't it? But yeah, plus one to wound with the uh, with that. Now it's got a heavy a heavy version and a normal version, a D six shots and mm -hmm. two D six shots. Yeah. Strength five. Yeah, I think it was. Well, strength it? five. I mean, look at that man. You're going to be hitting there. Uh, you're going to be wounded on threes for most things. Force for you, you know, your Gravis Marines and that. Again, everything's about Marines. Um, but with a plus one wound, that's putting them onto twos and threes. Yeah, squid launch, yeah. Yeah, Jet putting them onto threes, three, two twos damage. and threes, minus two AP, two damage. Yeah. And they don't need don't need line of sight. No. And you've got blast now, just, just to put, yeah. the, you know, cherry on the cake. Yeah. Of a heavy squid launcher, 36 inch range, assault 2d6. You get the blast ability off on that, that's 12 shot, 12 shots. That's good, though. Yeah. Red, Red roller still looks good. It's had a bit of a bit of a nerf d3 plus three instead of the flat six. Yeah, before. yeah, just just toned it down a little bit, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that you see, that is a tone down, right? You've still got the same maximum, mm -hmm. but. Your minimum's now four. Yeah. And, you know, that's pretty good. Yeah. Right? It's, yeah. I mean, it's now, wor now worse than going, oh, yeah, there comes D6, D6, such a large amount of possibilities. <laughs> one. One. Super yeah. smite followed uh, by a one. Oh, you've you've always got four. 
So yeah, yeah it's not yeah. too bad, is it? But the two D three instead of D six. Yeah. I'm not mm. sold on it. No, nah, me either. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's harder to get six. Mm-hmm. Um I mean you kinda get one, I suppose. So it's, it's, no, there's, there's that. Yeah, you can yeah, and that, that's the argument. And, you, moment, and you've got a one in nine it. chance of getting two to be fair. So <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's like the mm. Irish lottery. Right? <laughs> there's more chance of winning a fair amount. You're not going to win a jackpot. You're not going to re retire. Yeah. <laughs> but there's more chance of winning a fair amount. <laughs> and you're not going to go home with nothing. So, no, exactly. You're going to get something. And then the, uh, the stomach stomachmatic pistons. Changed that a bit. It used to be orc matic pistons. Yeah, it did, before. yeah. Cracking, yeah. A, cracking increased your movement. Yeah. Three Plus one advanced rolls for the smaller. Yeah. Right, so something like that. Oh, you can't put my killer cans. Don't matter. <laughs> I'll be honest, Gorgonaut. Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. that you want to get chucked in and and get stay like, crumping up towards. I'll give it. I'll give it an eleven inch move. That's that's nice. Yeah, Gorgonaut. Yeah, and they can just go over models as well, can't they? So you, if there's yeah, a yeah. blob of greens, you can just walk straight through them and get the other side of them. Yeah, you don't have to go round them. Yeah, brilliant. That's that's the only one. I mean, I wouldn't put it on a Gorgonaut just for the fact that. With a, with a KFF. More of a support unit. Yeah, it? so it was sitting yeah. back with the blast yeah. weapons and all that. And yeah. with a goat not get stuck in and just start, like, you know, scorch off, firing Blitzer Gat. Is it Blitzer Gat that has got or the... Whatever its big rotary cannon thing is. Yeah. And the Death Dread, I just think the Death Dread's a little bit too... If it was for the unit... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You'd exactly. Do it, if it was a unit, but... I'd be up, I'd be up for it, but it's not. What's a motor north power level nineteen? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right so you're paying for you're paying for that. Yeah. Uh, Death Storm Mega Shooter. That was it. Jesus, man, have you seen the number of shots on a Death Storm Mega Shooter now? Yeah, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's half range. Twenty, otherwise. Yeah. Still not bad. Not bad at all, really. Uh, but that's all the custom jobs for vehicles. Yeah. The mech ones, like I say, we, we've touched on some of these because of we're uh, mm -hmm. unusual organisational techniques. Bionic oiler for 10 points. You can use him twice. Mm. Is that just helping with the uh, fixer? Uh, repair rolls plus one, isn't it? To, yeah, yeah, twice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nah. Enhanced run sucker. Like that's your, your heavy two D three. Yeah. Um, it's fifteen points. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you would. Extra custom weapons. Oh yeah, that's the one that we were talking about quite a bit before, wasn't it? With yeah, whether we can do something with what it. What does yeah. it do? Who's it for? Uh, I'm pretty. I'm positive it is just for mech um, mind. With I'm, the, I'm, yeah, I'm with you now. The way they've, yeah, really with the being, just, just with being on the, the the custom mech jobs title, but I think people yeah. will be trying to get away with it on um, until they yeah, FAQ it. I reckon, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. when the there was leaks, which we didn't look at because we're mm -hmm. good, no, 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 good we're, boys. We're, we're good boys. Um, yeah. I imagine not that I saw them. There would have been just like <laughs> photos of various rules, and it might have been hard to see that that was actually. Mech custom you know, jobs, yeah, yeah, for, like, yeah it was just, just that particular rules bit. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's probably what happened there. I would imagine. Um, smoky gubbins treated as having light cover into your next movement face. Yeah, so you get what a five up save. Yeah, meh. Yeah. <laughs> They're still gonna die. <laughs> yeah, still, still, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> murderized. Smoky gubbins, one point per model. It is fifteen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But three of them have to be spanners, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Which isn't too bad, really. I don't particularly no, mind that. No. I like I like that with the custom mega blasters. I like custom mega blasters. Yeah. Weapons. And now with the D three shots, not that. Oh, please, just get a five, please. Now, yeah, the mega blasters. Yeah, it's a bit better. Yeah. And also, it's it's funny because it also makes the uh, 
the always very frustrating Lutas boys box with um, four Lutas and a spanner in. A little bit more yeah. usable. Yeah. <laughs> You have to buy two to make one unit of five looters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always a bonus. And the Zap Crumpers. Each yeah, semi melee attack yeah, yeah. is made by a model in this unit and an unmodified wound roll of six inflicts one mortal wound on the target. In addition, yeah, twenty. Uh, sorry, two points per model or on your burner boys maybe. Yeah, burners. Normally. So anything I can burners. see on. But the, the burner yeah. boys again, they, they lost their cutting flames. Um, There's a stratagem it's, though, it's, isn't it? It's a 2CP so, strat. Two, and mm. I just think paying 2CP for it, for something that you used to get. It's, mm. I don't want to be I don't want to be that kind of person, but it's a principle. <laughs> Do you yes. know what I mean? It was always there. I thought, give these away <laughs> last now. time. Now I want to pay for it. No way. No way. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mug. But now we've got 12 inch range. I haven't said that. I'll take the D6 inch. shots in 12 inch range. Any Auto game. hitting. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Orcs, auto hitting with orcs, it's yeah. like, and they can, and they can just jump, or they can, they are core, aren't they? Yes, I think they can jump. Yeah, or they can go on the teleporter in a yes. battle wagon. Guessing. Oh yes. Just yeah, stick them, in a, stick them in a wagon or a uh... twelve burners, twelve d six shots. So do you roll it for the unit, one d six for the whole unit, or do you roll a d six for each each burner? Each burner. I would have thought, oh, I'd, I'd actually, I'm sure that's the way, that's the way everybody else does it. Yeah, it's the same with the, uh, is it the same? No. For the Lunas? Lunas no, because they're, no, they're uh, DACA guns now, aren't they? So, oh, yeah. The rain, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm relearning the whole army. Well, I mean, to be fair, the, the death gun. <sighs> Much better. Yeah, it's it's two shots. Well, yeah, it used two. to be D three. Now it's two, and you get the third shot if you're within twenty four inches. It's got a good range on it. Or if you're bad moon twenty seven. Oh. Yeah, because it's a Dacker gun in it. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll go from forty to fifty yeah. fifty four. Yeah. So, nice. yeah. Mm. Yeah, you're getting the three shots most of the time. And yeah. You, you, if you don't, when you when you were using looters, if you rolled a two and not D three, you went. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with I'm that. I'm not buzzing. Exactly. But no. I'll take but, it. You know, even even enough. even back in the eighties when you could re-roll it. You know, unless you had some serious work with him, you wouldn't. So to, to say mm. that you're never going to have that, oh, just one shot each. Fucking rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> just you're never going to have one again. Yeah. Got to be a good thing. Yeah. Got to be a good thing. So, what were stratagems? Stratagems, so, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to go through them all. You know, there's a book for that. Um, yes. Yeah. But there's a few new ones, isn't there? Kareen's back in. Yeah, Kareen, yeah, that looks cool, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, you can... Can you... Do you do this before you roll for explosion? When an orcs model... Orcs vehicle model in your army that is not right. within an engagement range of any other models is destroyed and exploded. Right, right, right. Make, yeah. Fair enough. Oh, so that's, it that's... can't be in close combat either. No. No, it's got to have been shot, which makes sense because, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. you're moving, yeah. you're destroyed, you careen, yeah. you're static, yeah, exactly. you explode. Exactly. Yeah. You, Have, you don't move. Having said that, there's nothing that says you couldn't use it on the boss bunker. The big head boss bunker. That is true. So if that's... <laughs> <I do laughs> it like, might be a bit gamey. <laughs> yeah, I, I, do like, I do like the idea of that. I, th I thought originally, I thought it would be good for sort of getting into cover. Maybe he's moving closer to cover for when your troops get out. Yeah. But or if you can only use it, it, if you can only use it when it explodes, yeah. you've got a one in six chance of actually using it to be fair haven't you True. um yeah. so yeah. yeah but but for what it's meant for as in like you know getting the explosions yeah. close at the enemy pretty good yeah. I don't know, yeah it's a bit fluffy i quite like it anyway yeah i like it yeah 
Um, we've got yeah, Getz. Like, to, to get him cover or onto an objective or something. It's yeah. As well, mm -hmm. Gamey wise, you know, bit of fluff as well. Yeah, nice no, fun. Um, we've got uh, obviously get stuck in lads. That's uh, yeah. So the same ramming speed, gun crazy show offs. Yeah. A gun crazy show offs that used to, was that that used to be a six up auto like the, like ability for flash kits. Yeah. Yeah, shoot again, wouldn't it? Do you know what? It's mm -hmm. better having it as a strat, I think. Yeah, it's not that random. Yeah, it was pretty yeah, slim. Yeah. You know, on average, you might not even get it in the game. Whereas now you can pay the CP, uh, which would know we've got more of, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just do it. Sure right. again. Hit them harder. Yeah. Yep, great. That, tough. That's tough. going to be used all the time. Oh yeah, it? god, ah, oh, yeah, it's a staple with mega knobs yeah, in it. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Is tougher squeak hide a new one? Yeah, oh yeah, of course it is. It's be snaggers. <laughs> All the new shinies. Uh, so basically, that is transhuman physiology. Yeah. It's like the snake bite uh, clan culture, but without the strength limit. Without the limit on strength. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. trans orc physiology is pretty. Uh, pretty tough. It's nice stuff. to have that for a unit, yeah. Yeah. Including beast snagger in front. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. Uh, breaking heads. Now this is the one. One of the ones that makes us sad. Yeah. Just a, yeah, just with being a two CB stat, but I, I was thinking about it, and um, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna feel morale quite often. We are, aren't we? Yeah, it's a bit of a worry. I'll be honest, but you know they only flee on ones, so you're automatically losing one if you fail morale. Yeah. Yeah. And then unless you're half strength on a one, you lose. Yeah, but oh my god, I can roll ones for days. <laughs> well, this is it. The 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 is it? Um, I forget. Is it the mob? No, mob rule. Is mob rules out with the code ability? I forget the one that basically now says that you you don't use uh, twos. It's it's always just yeah. ones. No modifiers to that. As long as you're in a six inch range of another unit. Yeah. That's at the full strength, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's. I think it's over half strength. Over half. Yeah. I think it's over half anyway. Um. Then yeah. I mean. I always try and think of the worst case scenario. Thirty boys yeah. fail a, a test, you know, without taking any losses, and uh, yeah, on average you lose five, and that's mm. not too bad. Yeah, depends how many you lost to fail the test. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, the 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 number you lose will go down exponentially, won't it? I mean, if you <laughs> if you lose twenty four, so if you lose if you lose twenty four, you're only going to lose another one. Happy days. You've only got five left, though. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah. It's, it may just be a case of getting used to it. But it just seems a shame when you had an ability as is, is standard. Yeah, and I always exactly. thought taking the D3 Mortal Wounds was, you know, yeah, that's, that's all payment enough. But then to stick a 2 CP charge on top just seems a bit... And, you still, and, and then you still take D3 Mortal Wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah and you still take the D3 Mortal Wounds as well. That's a, Especially when there's another 2 CP strat, a general strat, just that, which just gets your auto-pass. Yes, yeah, now, auto pass. Is that a once-per-battle strat? Yeah, it is now. Yeah, right. But now we've got... We can play this as many times as we like, can't yeah. we, this one? So we can mm -hmm. always basically pass... Morale. Yeah, yeah, and you get the roll for it first as well. You you get to fail, you get to make that roll, yeah. and you chance you know one six chance you'll pass regardless. So, yeah, that's all right. Um, character strats, orcs is never beaten. Yeah, now, I only want to mention this one because we're not mentioning them all <laughs> because uh, this one. I'm sure this one now it's you can fight. On death, if you haven't yeah. fought already. Yeah. But it used to be you could fight, get killed, and then fight again, didn't it? Fight again, yeah. But now yeah. you can't. It's just straight up. Mm. Fight if you're killed, if you haven't fought already. So you still get to put that... It's not worse than being tied up in combat and getting killed before you get a chance to actually... Exactly. ...chuck your punches at too. Like I'd say that was probably more likely going to be used obviously in the second round of combat when mm -hmm. you go second yeah, and then you get killed 
and then you can say, well, actually, no, I don't want to. Yeah, it is all. It, it is also a deterrent if you get charged as well. If somebody's thinking, I could charge that war boss, take him out, but then he's going to take me out. Fight anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. you know, it's got, it has got, it's still got its uses. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a beast stanger strat there for plus two damage uh, to Titanic units. Mm -hmm. Situational. But, you know, if you've got a beast like a war boss. Um, but, you know, could have its uses. Yeah. Usual ones for extra relics and uh, warlord traits. I like that, the big boss. We would give another uh, character a warlord trait. That's mm -hmm. quite yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be your warlord. No, no. So you, it, you can like really bump up some characters, can't like you? Well, it's the same with the extra gubbins, the the, the relic it's version. One, so you, you give the killer claw to like a pain yeah. boy if you know if, if you had a pain boy and you wanted to. It's, yeah. Tough them up a bit. You can also give him a, a, a warlord trait. There's a couple of nice combos in there, isn't there? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, there there is to be yeah. fair. There really is. Yeah. And uh, looking at the other ones. Tied a muscle. Yeah, they're both they're both decent. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it, it's well. I tell you what, tie the muscle. It's when I look at it and go, oh, all right, then. but then, you know, we've all had to make a charge through terrain at one stage and just found yeah, it just yeah. just out your grasp. So yeah, yeah, exactly that. And that was like good. Some of the uh, space marine floaty tanks that do the minus two. To yeah, charge. yeah, very true. That'd yeah, the repulsor fields. Yeah, so that'd be nice for like death dreads getting in on the mm -hmm. on the, the floaty tanks and stuff. Wouldn't it? Ah, well, yeah. it's orcs core. It's only core units. Oh, is it only core? Is it? Yeah. Mm. So it's not the not the death dreads, but you know you can no, check your boys in, man. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. No boys, yeah. Nothing. Teleporter, classic. Mhm. Mm it says no. Select a non-monster orcs unit, but as long as Gazgol's in a battle wagon, you're not selecting a monster. No, no, it's a it's a trick. It's a <laughs> No monsters through here. Monsters are too big. What if I put them in a bigger wagon? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Smuggled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got hand solo in it. <laughs> the the grot shield strats change quite a bit. Yeah. Um I, I initially didn't like the look of it, but I think it's better. I don't know. Um I just don't think it's gonna to take too much to wipe out a unit of grot infantry. True. Uh I know they've got that horrible gits thing, but it's only a three inch effect bubble. Mm. Um you can get them in cover. They've got minus, well, they've got a minus one to hit anyway, just from being. Oh, is it minus one to hit? I'm at plus one. They've got some sort of a. Uh, for being diminutive. Diminutive, yeah. When oh, sorry. They they get a plus one to the armor save for being in cover. So. Five up save. Yeah, because they're on sevens to start with, aren't they? So yeah. Um, I mean, you could st stick someone like, I mean, really, if you wanted to probably be cheesy about it, you stick someone like Makari then, and you can use him as a grot shield. And he's got, a two, he's got a two up save. He loses it once he takes a wound, but you give him a super cyborg body. Yeah. And he's got that four save as backup once that's gone, plus he's taking half damage. Yeah. Uh, you could probably go yeah. further. <laughs> you know, and I think I heard something about putting Gaz in front of him, and then you can character block... Makari, so you've, they've got to shoot Gaz, and Gaz, of course, can only take four wounds. So he just stands there and tanks it all. Ah, and then Makari's going, Aah! and then your looters are behind him going, ha ha, you can't shoot us at all. <laughs> right. So, yeah, you know. I like the fact. Game is for Grot Shields is effective for the whole shooting phase, not just against the one unit that they're targeting. targeting. Does that make So the one unit shoots them then another unit shoots them and it's still in effect yeah sense? yeah it it you, you play it um on the unit you want to protect you select exactly. the unit you want to protect in a in a grot unit nearby and then no matter who's shooting until those yeah. grots are gone that unit can't be shot there's nothing to stop your shot. opponent from going okay and then just shooting everything else yeah but at the end of the turn you've still protected that unit and it hasn't that been taken unit, out yeah. and yeah so yeah. That, that's good. Uh, Lumber and Strides just brings back the old here we go rules for the uh, yeah. for the biggins big for the big boys. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, missing. 
glaringly missing out here, I've not seen it yet, is uh, Green Tide. Yeah, Green Tide's gone, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah, rest in peace, Green Tide. It's, uh, there's, a, there's a few which are stables, proper rocky things, yeah. which which have gone. Yeah, um, green Tide, biggest boss. Yeah. Although that wasn't, yeah, that was a strat, wasn't it? Yeah. A pre-game strat, pre yeah. but I think you mentioned earlier. Uh, I mean, that was the way to get a four-up invul. That was the way, the only way to make a, a non-named character a little bit tankier. But now there's lots of invuls floating around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it's it's been sort of hard baked into the stat line as opposed to needing it. So yeah, that's that's not really a big miss. Um, Green Tide, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's very fluffy. It was very good. It was. was. I don't think, even think it was overly... Well, it no. wasn't overly powerful. It wasn't. It wasn't broken. But then again, no. that's because Orcs were quite easy just to, you know, wipe off the board. Now, with the increased toughness and all that sort of stuff, um, yeah. you know, and even if we just said, right, just core units, you're bringing back Beast Snaggers, possibly. Uh, I think with the increased points because of the increased toughness and some of the better rules and some of the core units in troop types, yeah. I think it might have been too powerful. So that's maybe why they've done away with it. It wouldn't surprise me to see it in the Octarius. It would delight me. Or, 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 but yeah. It yeah. wouldn't surprise me to see it in one of those campaign books. It'll pop, it'll pop its head back. Oh, I'd be, over, I'd be over the moon with that. Yeah. <laughs> I really would. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. Burn them all. What's burn them all? Burn them all. Oh, yeah. Scorcher missiles. Scorcher missiles. Yeah. Well, just nicely takes on another one they've got rid of. That was so yeah. far that we can't see. The flying head butt. <laughs> flying head butt, yeah. I never used that. Actually. It was used to death, but I, I don't see the point of spending a hundred and odd points. <laughs> to blow up your plane. To, to blow up your plane. Do a few <laughs> more wounds. I mean... If you're flying yeah. around and it was you used it for a few turns or whatever, and it was getting close, or oh, it's definitely gone next turn. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. But just just using it straight off. I know at the start the when there was turn, when they had those marine uh, bubbles where everyone was all clustered together yeah. to get all the re rolls and that, and you could just bang in the middle and take out. Well, let's be honest, take out none of them, but. <laughs> Do the th injure it, yeah. yeah. Maybe take out a marine there, a, a terminator, uh, and three yeah. wounds on some of the characters. And that, yeah, it was good. I've seen people going, Oh, I've taken 33 mortal wounds, but everything's still there, and I, and I can't scratch <laughs> anything anyway because you're bloody three up and two up saves. And that, I never saw that, yeah. I'm, I'll, it'll not nah. be missed. Uh, not for me, it won't for nah. me, yeah. I was gonna say, it'll be people out there who'll use it to great effect, but. <clears throat> yeah, it's not my cup of tea, um, but that that's that's something to make up for anyway. The Burnham All Strat, it's yeah. a cheap strat, Definitely. yeah. And if you can keep using it, brilliant. Yes. Uh, Monster Hunters, another beast snagger one. Definitely not mm -hmm. going through all of these. No. Well, newer ones, aren't there? A lot of these. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's fair enough. Just a way to improve your taking down vehicles i suppose yeah yeah uh cutting flames again it was built in when it it was it's only one cp mind yeah no, that's not, that's not that seems a bargain since considering most of them seem to be two yeah but uh yeah like i said i'd rather have the 12 inch range and the d6 shots over it's yeah. the minus two ap anyway that's what their power is, and like you know, once they're in combat, they're going to be dead anyway. But pretty, pretty quickly. Like, if they do get charged, then play that strat. You might take out a few. Well, this yeah. is it. But I mean, yeah. if they're getting charged as well, you're you're going to be overwatching them. I would have thought because that's yeah. when you're going to be putting in some actual, some decent hits. Mm. Uh, more dagger. Oh yeah, yeah, more dagger. So that increases the the range of the so the dagger weapons. Yeah, the, the the full range. That's that's quite cool. Cloud of smoke. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, tank buster bomb. Tank buster bomb. Ah, right. So it's not like a ranged attack anymore. Yeah. More likely to hit, I suppose. Two D three more Yeah, that's 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 pretty cool. 
just bumped it from what's the tank buster bomb now the stats i've no idea to be honest i've not even looked uh, well, well, the, well, the tank bus Well, there's no tank buster bomb now. You just play the strat. If you've got the keyword, you, one of your models makes a, a melee attack, a combat attack, and then if it hits, you do two, two d three mortal wounds. Oh. That's it. So, so because there's no tank buster bomb weapon profile, it's done away yeah. with the um, the stick bomb strat. Where you could have like a unit of say ten tank busters yeah. chucking ten D three tank your strength eight D six damage sort of weapon, which do you know what that that would that wrecked face that. That was a yeah. that was right. carnage. Did you not? Nah, I never got that never got to use that one. It again, it was it was one of those ones where it's uh, the range of it was just out of teleporter range. You know, so when you yeah. dropped in you had to then survive, close, and then do it. Yeah, one love a bomb. Yeah. Yeah, but well, everyone just went, "Oh look, tank busters," and then they all died. <laughs> that was it. Like, oh, I mean, so yeah, yeah. But it's a shame it's gone now because when it, when it worked, when you got it off, yeah. it was tasty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so was another God, another beast snagger one, snagger grapple. Yep, mm -hmm. just stops people from falling back. Oh, there's like a chance it. of it. That's good. Then. And the last strat there, force field booster, basically uh, yeah. two CP. Yeah. yeah, just pops the force better field works. back to what it was. Although is it a better works range? In works in combat now. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's, just, it's the same range, yeah. nine inches. Sorry, but yeah, it works in combat. But it's not wholly within now, is it? So you don't have to have the whole unit. No, the, this is it. This is it. I mean, you, you see the fact it's dropped from five to six five to six up and that yeah. that looks like a massive nerf oh it's only half as effective um and that is a nerf there's only yeah. two ways about it no. but for a unit to be partially within it you know you just mm -hmm. stick it on the last one or two trailing boys or something and you've got that whole mob of 30s end covered which could be stretching another 18 yeah inch. It, 20 inch all around the mech exactly exactly and of course using it in melee as well yeah they're both Massive. pretty pretty powerful uh yeah. I, improvements. I think everyone jumped on that and was a bit oh it's been nerfed into the ground i, I don't think it has i think it's actually quite yeah six is still pretty pretty rare isn't it getting an invulnerable save so you're basically getting the death skulls clan trait <laughs> yeah custom, yeah right yeah so and they don't even get that, so... No. <laughs> yeah. the, old, the old clan trade. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's uh, it, it's pretty good. And like I say, if that boosted up back to five again, what's the range on it? Uh, A standard. Six inches. Is it six inches now? It used to, it used to be nine, though, didn't it? It used to be nine, yeah. Yeah, because uh, you, could, you could double it up to... Um, 18. 18, that's it, that's it. But that was three CP before, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and you needed to double it up to eighteen, really, because you had to include everything. I mean, I remember using a a, a big mech with a custom mm -hmm. force field to uh, give an invul save to a stomper. Yeah. And the stomper had a, a belly gun, so it lost his transport capacity. So the mech had to follow him round, and it was a right pain in the arse, just sort of like trying to to hug its sauce, just, just to. <laughs> Just to cover the front of it, you know what I mean? It was yeah, a yeah, that was quite tricky actually. Wasn't it? Well, have a quick uh, run through the warlord traits. Yep. You know, as quick as normal, I suppose. Um, yep. <laughs> follow me, lads. Fair enough. Big gob yep. increases the aura. Mm -hmm. Um, Arda's nails. Arda's nails is pretty cool. Minus one yeah, from good. the attacks wound rolls. So if you've got somebody with a high high old toughness, yeah, you know you're going to be. Yeah, I mean, what's what's a, a warlord's toughness? Six, isn't it? I think. God, I fancy that war boss isn't even on the first page of the HQs. It is six. So if you've got a toughness of six, I mean, I know there's not that many toughness six weapons, but you're looking at toughness five, strength five, mm -hmm. uh, and below, it's going to be wounded on sixes. Yeah. Heavy bolters yeah. and stuff like that, stuff which you could normally put a lot of shots in. You know, because when you've got a decent invul save, you want to be putting a few shots in to try and, you know, yeah. 
to, to yeah. Get free. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, brutal but cunning. Oh, this used to be the reroll to hit. Yes. And plus one yeah. attack. Yeah. Was it strength as well? I just thought. Um, but now, yeah, it just it's just reroll all attacks. I'd fail to reach the damage stage. Yeah, so you roll everything up, and if you don't damage, or don't get to the damage stage. Yeah, so you make all your attacks, put the misses to one side, make all your damages, put the the fatal wounds to one side, not the damages, the wounds, put those to one side. Um, they'll then make their saves, mm -hmm. all the ones which fail to, all the ones which are saved, get put to one yeah. side, then you roll your damage. And you pick up all the dice you had put to one side and do it all again. That's pretty good, isn't it? It is. is pretty... Yeah. But uh, yeah, so the only thing that you know isn't re-rolled essentially is the ones that are picked up with their feel no pains and yes, they're like after the damage has been rolled. So yeah, yeah. that's that's pretty no, that's cool good, to be fair. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, I know the uh, the Dracaria got something like that and the you know the bang on about it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cunning but brutal, right? The other one. Yeah. Now, this was the one where you had D3 units could redeploy at the start. Redeploy stuff. Like yeah. That. Start the fight phase. If this warlord's within the engagement range of the enemy unit, it can fight first. So it's a fight first. Yeah. Yeah, they're not as good as fight lasts, but <laughs> at least, you know, your warlord's getting. If he does get stuck in and he doesn't take out everything on the charge. Yeah. You know. You you be you be good to go first again. Yeah. Uh, might is right. Plus one strength and attack. Yeah. yeah, that's fair enough. That's a, you know I wouldn't take that. It's good. I'd like to have it. I mean, can you have two traits on a warlord, or can each warlord only have one? Only one off. Right, yeah. right. That's a shame because there's basically just because I think there's better ones in there. Yeah, um, snap them out. Would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. The Beastnagger ones have their own. They've got the big killer boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Add to the attacks. Yeah, if, in plus one the, the attack roll. If you're going to be, but don't, don't eh? Uh... They get plus one to the wound roll anyway. Yeah, it's, I'm thinking. Don't Beastnaggers get that? So there's quite a, two, f it? and I've seen strats and that which sort of. I've mentioned that as well, but you can only max it plus one to the wound roll, so I don't understand the the need for all these plus ones because not that many that I'm aware of a strat switch you can use to minus one to the the wound roll. Only trend, no. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Arda's nails were just covered, does it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't know if there's any on like monsters and vehicles or I know for yeah. character stuff, but. Mm. Uh, beast gob yeah it basically helps your squigs get a little bit more chinny more damage yeah one to the damage and then half chewed yeah that's yeah, that's not oh, no pain. Yeah. if if he's in range of a, you know when in combat with a character or a monster monster yeah it's a shame because four, four, four of funeral pain would be pretty pretty cool but uh it is, yeah it? yeah but when you've got it you, unless you could there's a way to i don't know it's a shame there's not a way to use a snagger grapple just on a, a weak enemy character and then just carry them around in a headlock <laughs> right oh, <yeah. laughs> for the rest of the battle just go on you bullets pinging off your skull as long as he's like ah <laughs> using him as a meat shield yeah yeah that'd be quite cool uh, uh, so look, so uh, speed freak warlord traits, road killer. No, you talk. So enemy unit two plus takes d three mortal wounds. That's good. Uh, get up in their faces. The warlords are able to shoot in the turn in which they fell back. All right, and yeah. junk boss, invul save. Four up. Yeah, that's yeah. all. Four up on your death killer war trike, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. to be honest with you, a little bit underwhelming. The, the yeah. speed freak warlord traits. Yeah, I mean, not, to be honest, it, no. If you if you look at the orc warlord traits, the beast warlord traits, and how much is in them, yeah. Uh, 
the Speed Freak Wall of Traits look like an afterthought. <laughs> you know, they think all wounds. <laughs> yeah, fall back and shoot. Uh, four plus involved. Right, next. You know, that's it's done. But I appreciate that because we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> right, powers of the war. Pow powers of the war, even, say it properly. Anything there stand out? Oh, the jump's still there. Which is yeah. I'm happy about that. It's core units only. Has that changed it, much? It was infantry before, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's a few infantry. I can think of one infantry unit which isn't which isn't core with the flash kits. Yeah. Um. Although they now get the the clan benefits, so that's yeah. That's a good trade off. Ed Banger is not as devastating if it, if you pull it off mm -hmm. for the enemy. In fact, yeah, with something like Ed Banger, if you want it for a character assassination, it's not as good. Because it just used to kill him outright. Yeah. Um, but you could hit a unit now. Yes. And take out D6. Well, D6 wounds. You know, so maybe he's a few models as opposed to in the past just smash an individual sort of guardsman. Well. Toughness, because the character's toughness was always normally a little bit higher. Wasn't it? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of Astartes with a toughness of four, the characters, but there is a couple yeah. of five as well, yeah. Because generally the... the They've got the Gravis uh, arm, and that bumps it up to that bumps it up to five. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's still decent. Uh, Warpath. Have one to attack. Yeah, that's the you, yeah you stick it on a big group yeah. of boys or something, don't you? Mega knobs or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Fists of Gork. Now I like Fists of Gork. Yeah. Because I've went and said that as well as like a plus two strength and attacks. If you cast on eleven plus, it's plus three strength and attacks. That's quite nice. And that makes a big out difference. I mean, it's, it's a big out difference. It just looks a lot better. It sounds a lot better. Plus three strength, plus three attacks. What? Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're warlord, yeah. Well, and he's going to have, well, he, no matter what he's got, really, he's going to be, uh, even with a, that's with a chopper. <laughs> yeah. 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 Damn. That's a lot, yeah. I always like the crunch. When you're playing against now, ah, right. So, what the so it's still d6 for each uh, model in the unit. Is there a maximum? No, no maximum. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and if the result no, of the psychic no. test was nine or more, you add one to the rules, so it's five or six. So, that makes it pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, clearing out horde stuff, mm -hmm. there's a unit of. 30 gaunt in front of you, and Tyranids. And... Yeah. Ah! 30 dice. Like I said, there's no limit, is there, to the number of dice? No, nah, it doesn't say it is. limited to 10 before, I think. I think it was, yeah. I think there was a yeah. limit to it. I might be wrong, but a lot, a lot of the stuff like that has a has a limit. limit like with yeah. the bombs and what have you for the, for the right, yeah. flyers. Yeah, I like the sound of that. The guardsmen. No, it's quite cool. Yeah. And then of jabbing fingers new one yeah uh give a unit minus one to hit yeah as in when they're shooting enemy unit yeah i quite like the uh the little bump on that as well the weird boy focuses attention on a nearby enemy before jabbing his fingers into his own eyes the unfortunate four experiences an agonizing pain before finding themselves temporarily blinded <laughs> yeah, that's quite cool. I think that's quite cool, yeah. That is good, isn't it? Right. Beast head discipline. Now I've not really looked at most of these, so I haven't either, no, not yet. Raw yeah. mork. Um Yeah. Similar to the lobber effect we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, it, it slows them down and uh, yeah. reduces the leadership as well. Mm -hmm. Frazzle. Yeah. Now Frazzle. Warp yeah. charge value six. If manifested, roll one d six for each enemy unit that is within nine inches of the psyker on a four plus for d three mortal wounds. Now that I think is pretty good. Yeah. Because you've got a word boy on top of the the kill rig, haven't you? Yes. And that is not on a forty mil base. This is the kill rig. <laughs> it's because <laughs> it's with a foot and a half long. So that's a big old area. If you get your kill rig. 
in amongst it, yeah. you're going you're to be affected a lot of a lot of units with that. A lot of units. Yeah. Doesn't the uh, kill rig amplify the power as well? Does it? I don't know how it works. Yet. I've not looked through it completely. Oh, I'm not a hundred percent. No. Oh, I see. The word tower. It's just if you successfully get a psychic power off, it becomes the word tower becomes assault D three instead yeah. of assault one. Yeah, that's it. Which, to be fair. It's strength nine, minus three AP, D six damage. It's not bad, is it really? That's all, that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. And they automatically hit as well. You don't have to roll to, to hit. Oh, does it? That automatically hits, yeah, it's like a flamer. Oof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That automatically hits the target. You don't even have to roll. To that hit. is good. Damn good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm up for that. I'll have a bit of that, yeah. Back to the powers. So what's biting jaws? So biting jaws. Uh, if manifested on a warp charge value of six, one enemy model that is within 18 inches of and invisible to the psyker, draw a line between this any part of this psyker's base and any part of the selected model's base or hull. Mm -hmm. The selected model's unit and every other enemy unit that the line passes over or through suffers one mortal wound. That's that's pretty good to be fair. Because yeah. you can probably yeah. get a you get a few targets, two or three targets through it, I would imagine it, you know wouldn't be unusual obviously not all the time but it's just the take it yeah not 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 the four plus not anything like that yeah yeah no that's pretty good that is not bad is it it was the spirit of gork yeah it looks like a big old power what's going on there so it's warp value of six if manifested uh select one friendly squig unit within 12 inches right until the start of your next psychic phase so yeah, so it'll be in your your combat and your opponents if your squigs are still around. Yeah. Each time that unit fights, it can make one additional attack with each big chomper jaw, squig hog jaw, smasher squig jaws, or squigger saw jaws. It's equipped with. Do you get equipped with a jaw? Aren't we all equipped with a jaw? He's sort of born with it, yeah. Really. Moro reels are uh, equipped with uh, two jaws. Anyway, uh, each time a model in that unit makes an attack with big chomper jaws, squig hog jaws, just say squig jaws. Uh, on an yeah. unmodified wound roll of six, that attack inflicts one mortal wound on the target in addition to any normal damage. So some of them, like Big Chomp and Squigasaurs, are doing three or four mortal wounds anyway on a six, aren't they? Yeah. Do you know, that's, that's a lot of mortal wounds, isn't it? It's a lot yeah. of mortal wounds. Um, yeah. For a, and you know... A six as well. Yeah, for a warp charge of a six, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a lot. That, that could be quite brutal, couldn't it? On a big unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, beast sent gets rid of the enemy's uh, cover bonuses against beast snaggers with their that'll be them little piggy noses you see he's in the bushes so they're over there yeah and of course the squiggly curse which we knew about um, that's got a maximum yeah roll 1d6 for each model in the unit with maximum 6 on a 4 plus it suffers one mortal unit mortal unit <laughs> wound Right, that's fair enough. That's quite cool. Yeah. And it, you know, if you do kill a model, you've got that explosion of a, a mortal wound. All units within six inches. Do you know what? Although I mentioned before, they got rid of the flying head, but there seems to be lots of powers mortal and in strats and stuff, which which will do mortal wounds in an area effect. Uh, area effect, yeah. Uh, and it, a lot. Yeah. yeah. And I know we're not gonna maybe go into the the this this. Uh, profiles and what have you uh, on the on this video, but I do you know just briefly want to touch on the uh, the burner bombs. Yeah. On the fact that they do the uh, the what's it? Let's say once per turn, if a bear has any burner bombs remaining, it can drop one. Nice one. Uh, so same as usual, you move along, you you pick where you dropped it, but then roll a d6 for each model within six inches of that point, subtracting one if it's a character. On a five plus, that model's unit suffers a mortal wound. So there's ways to, like, in a six inch, it's like a 12 inch. Yeah, yeah. it's a big old area. Big blob, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And I think the uh, the Blitzer Bombers is, I mean, that's even better, to be fair. Same thing, 6-inch, 12-inch sort of bubble, if you like, from where you drop the bomb. Yeah. And on a 4 Plus, they suffer D3 mortal wounds. If, there's a, if you roll a 6, yeah, if you roll a 6, it's D6 mortal wounds. So that I mean, if you you got to roll hot, but if you yeah. do, that's well, that's doing some. Uh, that's gonna you drop you right in the center of them. Big yeah, yeah, the, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> no, absolutely. Like the sound of that. Right, which just leaves us relics. Um, super cyborg. Yeah, super cyborg. Now I think that to me, that's that's the winner. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, he's good. Especially yeah. if you've got a character who isn't your warlord. Yeah. And then you but you just want to, you know, really bump bump them up a bit. Like if you've got, say, well, maybe yeah, the um, the Squigasaur dude, you know, the Mozrog mm -hmm. alt build. Oh no, if he's you're not using him as your warlord, that's quite good. Or not even just like a, a knob on a smasher squig. You can't. It's got to be an infantry model only. That is true. I can see that now. Yeah. It's emboldened and everything. Yeah. yeah. That's a shame. It yeah. Would. It is a but shame. He... Bum holes. But. <laughs> oh, I was sticking on someone else then. Um... Mega arm or boss. Still going to be great, isn't it? He's going to have a two up save, a four up invo, and then half the damage. If yeah. Comes, you half it. I mean, it's. It's one CP to get an, an extra relic for some yeah. another character. Um, if you wanted to make like a big mech with shock attack gun, just that a little bit more durable, yeah. stick yeah. it on him. You've given your shock attack gun a four up save, taking half the damage. He's already got what five wounds, is it? Yeah, yeah. You stick a pain boy next to him, and then he's getting killed. Yeah, because well. the shock yeah. attack gun's brilliant, but they they can be sniped yeah. off a little bit. You just put it in the beast head bunker and you can't even be targeted. Yeah, well, all, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's a good way to deal with it, to be fair, like, yeah. They wounds then. Lovely. <laughs> or whatever it is. But the, the super cyborg body, I think, is, is cracking. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? But, yeah, because it used to be, what was it, a five up feel no pain or something. Yes, um, that's it. Yeah. yeah. This is better. Head whoppers kill chopper. Mm -hmm. To be fair, that's better than it used to be because yeah. it's double straight it's basically a power claw now so without the Megaron war boss can have this can't he can uh he can it doesn't actually state yeah. that there's any well it basically replaces the the beast chopper big chopper or huge chopper so yeah there's not many characters no. couldn't have it to be fair no, um but, yeah and it's a power claw that that doesn't have a minus one to hit no minus to hit yeah with the and chance of mortal wounds. Win. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So I'm um, yeah, I'm quite that's that'll get some use Because I don't I think it was for such it's such a great name for a relic. Um yeah. and I think it was just woefully underused in the last yeah, last yeah, codex. It? Just because it was yeah. shit. But <laughs> you know, but now I think it's it's got a it's got yeah. a place. Uh the crushing armor to be fair, for a mega that's armor model, is yeah. Ups it with four plus save on your mega armored war yeah. boss. He's only at five normally. Um, plus gives him a two plus. Yeah. And then gives him the spiked ram. <laughs> sort of rule yeah. as well. Some uh, mortal wound output. So that's quite cool as well. Yeah. In fact, to be fair, they're, they're all pretty good. Um, the killer claw still knocking about. Yeah. Is that AP yeah, gone up? Yeah, it was minus three before. So that's that's yeah. I mean, yeah. Again, I still think that might be up there with uh, the most take, most taked, yeah. the most taken. Um, yeah. It's just losing that minus one. Yeah, well, this is it. You this know, is it. it. Yeah. It? It's huge. Uh, to be fair, I'd rather have the guaranteed point of damage and AP over the the kill chopper. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I think the killer claw's still edging it. Uh the dead shiny shooter. I mean dagger fourteen's pretty good. Not bad, is it? Two damage. 
yeah minus one ap and i suppose if you stick that on a bad moons range yeah. go range goes That's up to 24. is a minus two mm -hmm. on the no. sixes yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but again no for your war boss are you wanting them as a shooter or a crumper it's going to be always going to be crumping isn't it but if you've got a big mech with a custom force field i don't know whether it'd be worth it or not to be fair probably we could stick that on a mega knob couldn't you to be fair not so you can stick it on you anyone with a custom shooter yeah but yeah. again if you're going to use the big head boss bunker and you're going to be sticking your um you know your, your war boss in the biggest big head boss yeah. bunker then yeah, you might as well have a shooter. He's not doing any crumping. I do think it's a bit of a waste putting your war boss in there, like. I would not put my war boss in there. No, it's I wouldn't. I it's wouldn't. A, it's but it, it's just with it, with it having the shout and pull and all that, it could be quite useful yeah. if if you know if that's where you want to go. But yeah. he's not a weedy little sixty-five year old imperial guard sort of warlord. <laughs> exactly. You know, just telling people what to do from his from his mobility scooter. You know, okay, boys, advance, advance. Yeah. <laughs> Cut this is at the ready. Morty. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Scorch Ed Git Bones. Mm. Scorch Git Bones, yes. So, it's a four up feel no pain against perils of the warp, and it's plus one to the psychic test. Useful, both useful. I mean, the mm -hmm. it would be more useful for the perils of the warp. Um, if we've still got the plus one for every ten orc boys knocking about, yeah, because lose plus one anyway. So yeah, we've got the, it, it's a bit it's a bit better, but yeah, I think it's it's going to be a miss that plus to the mm. casting because it it almost it didn't guarantee, but it was a it was big a help. Yeah. Yeah, it was huge, it? yeah, when you had the um, I mean, there's not many. I don't think there was any powers there with a warp charge value over seven. To be fair. Uh, no. Whereas they used to have ones like they were nine. Awakening ones. They were slightly awakening ones. We don't know what's happening with them yet. No. So it's worthwhile there, uh, you know. It's nice to get plus one to psychic test, so you can do the jump on a six, which is nice. And then if you do roll hot, then yeah, you get a four plus. Basically, feel no pain in it to the to perils of the walk. Very true. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, no, that's a, that's yeah, decent. That's quite, yeah, the amount of times I nearly blew my psycho's head off. <laughs> the old, the old, yeah, the old into to cast. Yeah, no, that's that's, that's that's fair point, I. <laughs> uh, and then lastly, beast hide mantle. So just be snaggers plus. Oh, I like yeah, yeah. It's a like plus one attack. Just have an extra attack, you might yeah. as well. But it's a it's a five up feel no pain. You see, that is good. If you go with the the beast boss on Squigasaw, mm -hmm. he still gets the minus one to his uh, damage. His invul is yeah. only four plus. Mm -hmm. You could give him a beast hide mantle. Yeah. So you give him the five up invul and the five up feel no pain. Mm -hmm. Get his get his attacks up to six and while you're at it. And then you could give him, um, oh, I don't even know, you could give him Arda's Nails. Yeah. Which is plus one with his attack roll. So strength seven, below strength seven, weapons six and below are wounded on sixes, sevens on fives, and even like eight and nines, well, and all the yeah. way up to fourteens, are going to be wounded on fours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be good, it? yeah I'm, I'm sure there's better ways to do it but um yeah is there any standout uh profiles or stat lines that you've seen that you're excited about or uh, you know let, let's say let's say war bikes and dagger jets aside for the yeah yeah, yeah for yeah, the sheer go, volume yeah. of shots they put out I like the look of Bad Ruck. Yeah, we, we, mentioned, we mentioned him earlier, didn't we? Yeah, uh, oh, just, there he was. He's had a massive buff 
He has. He has. He, he's shot up quite a bit. And looks like it'll be nice and tasty on the battlefield now. So in here, if you if you want to run a speed boss, yeah, what's your options? Death kill war trait. Is that is that the only thing? I think it is, isn't it? Or could you make a? Well, I take it you can't just make a normal war boss, a speed, speed boss. boss. Even if like he's riding in trucks or battle wagons or something, you there's yeah. nothing you can do that. Boss. Uh, Obviously, Gazzy. Yeah, because he, he does he does both. Yeah. So, Death Killer Water is your only option to call the Speed Warrior at the moment and Gazgo. Until they sort something out with the uh, the Forge World things and, and yeah. possibly get the the Orc and War Boss. Uh, Orc and War Boss, do you know what I mean? An Orc riding a War Boss, to be fair, would be pretty devastating. Yeah. But uh, Orc and War Bike back. Yeah, they got to bring him back. And then tank busters look tasty to me. I'll hey, I tell you what, yeah. Uh, not tank busters, sorry. Um, commandos. Commandos, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, both of them to me. Um, yeah, tank busters as well. Yeah. The commandos have got a lot more versatility with with those yeah. special weapons. Yeah. They're brought in. They can just come in anywhere with nine inches on the board. Mm -hmm. Sad. Well, they can. They can infiltrate oh, was it infiltrate yeah so you can set them up but they can't jump in turn three for example yeah with don't a uh, deep strike you could stick them in reserve if you wanted to you could yeah you could do that that's yeah, yeah. you could make them uh reinforcements couldn't you mm -hmm. you don't have to use the the cunning infiltrators rule yeah i just think they've got a lot of a lot of versatility maybe. yeah got a lot going on with him and with the increased toughness and all the buffs to this saves you drop them in in some terrain they're mm -hmm. just gonna be a pain in the opponent's house. yeah i mean even even if you wanted to rush them in for sort of like uh in combat like melee attacks the yeah. the the, the choppers with a minus one ap now mm -hmm. um is going to help and the fact that if you've got a you, you stick a distraction grot in yeah uh I don't know. I'm, I don't know the, the the points cost for for that. But you stick the distraction grot in, and then he just triggers his ability once per battle, and uh, everyone counts as being in a terrain feature, which gives him plus yeah. one to the attacks wound roll. Yeah. So, it's you know, three. start yeah. wounding marines on threes, and mm. it's it's not bad three, at all, really. For standard commando with a chopper, slugger chopper. Yeah. Not gets three attacks. His power claw, that's yeah, bloody brilliant. Let's have a look at the give him head what was kill chopper, could you? Yeah, but yeah, you could too, if you give him a yeah, pair of points and give him a a, a big chopper. Come on, distraction grot ten points. It looks like everything's five points apart from the, the, the distraction grot in the rocket launcher, which is still ten. The rest are all five. Five points for a power claw? Eh? Ooh. Boys, really? 10 points for Power Claw. Commandos, 5 points for Power Claw. So it'll be 15 points. For a Commando, commando oh. Boss Knob with Power Claw. Oh, yeah. I mean, can I have a unit of them? <laughs> <laughs> a whole unit, please. Yeah, I what? Is, is that it? has gone down to 3 points as well. Knobs, in a Knobs model, a Knobs unit, sorry, Power Claw, 8 points. It is a bit, but yeah, seeing that seeing that's eight really points good. makes us think it's probably right. How bizarre! Bomb squig five points. How much does it cost for tank busters? Five points, yeah. That's weird. Different points values for the same war gear, but on different units. Yeah, that's I, te I tell you what. Good. Tank Busters, 17 points a model. Yeah. Now, they used to be 17. They haven't changed, have they? Because it was 7 points for the for the boy. Mm -hmm. And 10 points. For plus 10 for the rocket launcher. But they don't come with choppers, do they? So maybe that was the point deficit over boys who were 8. Right. Uh, whereas now, obviously, boys have gone up to, to 9. Yeah. 
and the tank bust as I've stayed at 17. So is that extra point for the boys? Do you think that's to take into account the BAP on the chopper as opposed to the toughness boost? Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. And, yeah. But yeah, I mean, if st tank bust has staying the same as the pre updated previous codex at 17 points, and I think it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, and that extra point of toughness does help them. Will help them a bit. So yeah, I think um, apart from the like you say the the inclusion of all the new stuff, mm -hmm. which is looking tasty, I've I've started building my beast snaggers. I've got uh, I'm going to put twenty of them, and I'm going to run them in me goffs. Got my first one going. Knob on smash and squeak. That's it. Yeah. Snaggers, you recognise that polystyrene block? <laughs> Think of the planet. <laughs> um, <laughs> recycle everything. <laughs> oh. No, I'm excited for the new book though, I must say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the things I've seen of it in, in sort of like bat reps and that. Mm. Um it does look it does look good. The overall yeah. thing is I think in the past and I I, I do you know what I can't remember if I said this earlier on the video, um we had a lot of the orc army list wasn't doing much good it was a bit lackluster but there was a few things yeah there was a few things which were becoming almost staples like um mech gun batteries like up to 18 yeah. mech guns or yeah. or just burner bombs a burner bomb and you know flying head butts and stuff yeah. uh green flying tide was used yeah. all the time and it was all these things that we just were relied on to and all the time yeah yeah, yeah. and i see we've got rid of all of those yeah. pretty much to a T every single one of them's gone so when you see that yeah. it's understandable to go oh and, and get you know a bit disheartened but they've raised up so much more so the rest of the army which was a bit we'll come up together again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so they're all sort of on on not on well maybe it's on par you can't be exactly it's you know it's a balancing act but a lot more usable i think there's a unit in there that i wouldn't be interested to run I think just about everything in mm -hmm. there. Just trying to think. Mad Dog Grotsnick, maybe? I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> He's about, I'll be honest. I shouldn't say it, but yeah, maybe Gretchen. You know. I was going to say Grotz. I've yeah. got little to no interest in Grotz. No. Do you know what? After the first, first game or two where you know, all my precious tank busters or looters get shot off the table, then I might be going, yeah, I need a unit of grots. <laughs> right? Just, <laughs> just to offer them a little bit of protection. But, yeah. I think that, I know they're grots and I know they're rubbish. But yeah. I do feel for those who run big yeah. grot mobs. Yeah. Because I think with their, with the, 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 the even the save going with 7 plus, um, essentially, they're getting that back in cover. <laughs> so you can't put them in the open. No, God, no, no. <laughs> the, the lost, uh, the lost obsec. Um, yeah, they've got a point of toughness. So they're now as tough as a a, a human, a human girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a human child. A human child. The the. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's got, it does, I mean, to be fair, that point of toughness does help because it means bolt weapons are hitting on threes instead of twos and large weapons on yeah. fours instead of threes. So it, it does help that. Yeah. yeah. But, it, you know, they shouldn't be standing there like, you know, Superman just taking it all on the chest. No. <laughs> they'll, they'll still go down. So, you know, um, yeah, I've got no real, I, I, I can't see a massive, a massive use for them. Buggies, Although, because because they're not even cheap. <laughs> that's no, no, that's, that's the thing. The thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three points a model. Yeah, fair enough. Thirty points. Stick ten at the back, and then just hold one of your objectives. Hold an objective now, can they? <laughs> well, they, they can. But if anybody can, you see, this is it. They can. But if yeah. it's contested, they they'll lose be, out. Yeah. But the way I see it was, you know, an elite. A small unit of elite marines contests a, a, a unit of ten grots, and the grots are going ah, we're obsec. I think, well, <laughs> we'll kill you then. Oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> few moments later, <laughs> it's just fucking grot bits all over the ground. They weren't they weren't holding a, 
I weren't contesting a, an objective for long. No. But that turn was maybe all you needed to get the points. So, yeah. and you can't give them obsec with a with a strat. You're no. Grit, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Not the strat. Is it a strat? No, the specialist mob. Specialist mob. Specialist mob. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. The the biggest. Um, actually, there's another one. Uh, and this probably won't be popular. Zodgrod Wartsnagger. Yeah. I don't see a place for him in 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 my it's army. Be hard. If you're not running grots. It's gonna be hard. I know. And if. If Killer Cans, for example, were a core unit, mm-hmm. I don't think it's ridiculous to, to suggest that because let's face it, all the marine, all the marine um, dreadnoughts are yeah. So Death Dreads and Killer Cans, I don't see a problem with them being core. If Killer Cans were core, I would take them in a second. Yeah, it'd be absolutely essential because Killer Cans hitting and combating, shooting on three pluses. Yeah. <sighs> That's the stuff of dreams are made of. That you know. <laughs> oh, nice. They might affect you. But um, without that, I, I didn't yeah. want little weedy strength to goblin scratches, hitting on fours, and I don't want strength three goblin blasters hitting on threes. Nah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's they're so not... accurate. Just weapons are <laughs> toffy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No. So I've got I've got no use for him at the moment. That's a shame. Which is a shame because I, I do I do like the model. I love the model. I'm just looking at him now. He's the other one. I, he's the one I built first. He's a great model, but yeah. I think that's it. Like I say, we're not going to go too deep. We have got more coming. We're going to go in a bit more detail on a few of the, the profile yeah. troops in a video coming Morning. up soon where we've got a, a special guest. Ooh. Exciting stuff. So until next time, take care. And it's goodbye from me. Catch you on the next one, guys. Ta-da, now. <laughs> you can't leave that bit. <laughs> ah. <laughs>